very good evening to you or good night to you or good morning depending on where you're watching this from uh welcome to obina show live we are broadcasting you live from miale 72 lounge in loving tone it is a monday and we hope that you're supercharged for the week and everything that you set yourself to achieve today you have if you haven't you have tuesday tomorrow again you being there is not a mistake all right let's get round to it a lot has happened for the last one week or a couple of days over the weekend the kanjo situation the lady who drove away with the kanjo uh guy in the <laughs> in the van there's also another guy who went to radio africa at the gate and he decided to start removing his arm and his leg he adds those the the plastic ones saying he wants to see busy day like a lot is happening in a very short period of time but for tonight's episode, we're not going to be focusing on those. We're going to be focusing on one person, and that is Mamake Boys, straight from the USA to Obina Show Live. Sasa? Poor sana. Uko fiti? Uko poor. Karibu sana kwa show. Thank you. Yes. Mamake Boys. Mm -hmm. Boys wangapi? One. Four of them. Mm. Junior. <laughs> Junior is not the first born. No, last born. <laughs> See, my favorite. I'm starting with my no, favorite. No, he's not the last born. I'm still adding. Yeah, why are you shocked? Okay, so you are adding. <laughs> <laughs> no, why are you girls? shocked? Because you're so not know a Vizuri. Yeah. Exactly. So, you so Junior is last born. No. The temporary position. Exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Junior, Junior is so as comfortable. Sana. Mm -mm. Kuna mori yomgi na nakam. Ata na joy position si yake. <laughs> That's why uh, he's taking the advantage and have fun. Okay. Mm -hmm. I saw the video you telling Junior you're coming to Kenya mm -hmm. and you're asking him if he'll miss you. I can say, no, 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 just mm -hmm. leave us some money mm -hmm. uh, to buy stuff. But I need to get the food, the order. Eh, what you get the order? He is quite eloquent for his age. Mm -hmm. Ako? He's seven. Seven. Mm -hmm. Okay. He's your favorite. No, he's not my favorite. Yeah, what? <laughs> we know it. We see in the video. No, no, no. I don't have a favorite kid. They're all mine. Ah. Yeah. Me, I have a favorite kid. Ask me which one. Who is your favorite? None of them. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So you're just like me. Ah, me, I have. Mm -hmm. uh, what one on anger? Kila mtu their own I position. think with children, ni kujituma. Mm -hmm. Kama lola wana jituma sana. Niki kame kuja meka hapa. <laughs> Niki ingia me nituwa koti. Mm -hmm. Dana wa you. Ni kujituma. Eh. Yeah, so it depends. Mm -hmm. So there is Junior. Then there is... Uh, then there is Tyrone. Tyrone. Who is my third oh, born. Your Gina, eh? Uh -huh. Then there's Miguel. Miguel. Then there's Wayne. There's Wayne. Mm. So firstborn is Wayne. Uh -huh. Then Miguel, Tyrone, Tyrone then Junior, Junior, then... Then kuna wengine na kujua tatu. Uh, yeah, huyo mgini na kujua hapo nyuma. <laughs> si mwingine, wengine. <laughs> wengine? Eh. Yeah. Wangapi? Why are you shocked? Okay, how many children do you want in total? Eight. You want eight children? Mm. No, Mona must yes. <laughs> 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 you, I, I can add you if you think I got four. Now I'm going to run. All of a sudden, you're not by fifty. Oh, I'm going to get a heartbreak. No, sit down. You're going to win. I'm going to get a heartbreak. I'm even going to come with us on TV. Imagine me no one heartbreak you by the way. Nearly all the relationships I've been in, me no one to get a heartbreak. Really? Yes. Oh. Sasa we we, watch and you get more. <laughs> Had to break moja for life. Pia mini feel me. Wanoma wa Kenya ni wabaya sana. Misi wanoma wa Kenya. Where you from? Ogao. <laughs> <laughs> and in fact, uh, in this show, you can call me a few names. Eh? Mm. You can call me Obina, lakini yoni ya hawa watu normal. Mm. Uwane za nita na matito. Mm. Baby. Sugar. Mm. Love. Mm. Candy bar. Mm. No, I don't misuse my words. Ah. Babe. I think you can get Love. No. Candy That's for bar, a special person. Dark choku. Uh -uh. That's for. <laughs> <laughs> That's for my, for my for my person. For your Thank person. You. Mm. Okay, welcome to the show, Lakini. Thank you so it's much. It's been a long time coming. I saw you had landed. I was like, okay, how do we get her on the show? But here we are. Mm -hmm. I saw today you are in uh, a school somewhere. How did yeah. that go? I went to my girls. Okay. I went to see my sister. She's okay. doing form four. Okay. Yeah. Then I had to talk to the girls. We took oh. some sodas. Ni kapanishi on kambi lazima ni baye form four water soda. Ah. Imagine. Kwa ni nubaye form four water soda. Ati sisi peleke amtu yangu peke yake. But it was beautiful. What to wangapi? How many were they? Two hundred and seventy. 
Eninue soda na ninue keki. Ngoja. 270 people. Mm. Soda ni how much? Ulibaya ya plastic kama ya glass. Ya plastic. Kwa sababu ya glass. Ni so. Mm. Keki. Queen cake kama keki. Queen cake. Keki ndo ngapi? Tuweke 30. Chwani. Tuweke chwani. So 150. Ah. 40,500. Imagine. But the kids were happy. No. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> I'm, I'm not questioning the fact that the kids were happy. Why are you buying for, for, for 270 children soda and quick cake? You know, when the principal said that, I was like, why? Like, she's not fair. But when I saw the kids, how happy they were, I felt good. Can you hear But even when niliambiwa unakuja kutembelea mtoto unakutembelea form for what? Hii kipindi tu ndio umekuja mkono tupu. Wewe unataka kupewa nini? Ha? Are you sure you want to? Hapa na ya kukula. Na sidi ya kukula kwani? Owe? Hii kipindi naona iko promising. Naona mimi nikitoka soko eh ambare <laughs> kana range rover yako <laughs> Aziad ka uko ukidance mimi kidogo naona <laughs> nimeonekaniwa nimeulizwa nini nataka kukula nitakwambia <laughs> ama kununuliwa unaweza kuwa nataka range rover kununuliwa mm. oh naweza nuliwa range rover <laughs> we ndio ni sababu kwa social media na unajaribu una, una kutafuta Range Rover sio unajua tunaweza kutengeneza ku gift ah ndio ni sema hapa <laughs> <laughs> hata leo hata nikibaitu Range Rover leo utasikia ah amenuliwa when i bought my no. Lexus i, I had a Lexus nilikuwa ah amenuliwa na mama i'm like if people knew how i struggled to pay for that Lexus <laughs> <laughs> but anyway story for another day mm -hmm. karibu Kenya karibu Thank Obina you. show live good stuff you're doing mm -hmm. and uh, naona umepiga luku Relax, nywele imetengenezwa ikatengenezeka. I'm always looking good. Ah, mm. Okay. Yeah. Uko soko? Mhm, -mm, siko soko. Uko soko? Mhm. -mm. So why are you always looking good? Unajua mtu mwenye ana look good ni mtu mwenye anatafuta. No, I look good for me. Oh. Not for someone else. Okay. Mhm. Haya. Yeah. Yeah, And that's why people go wrong. People look good for people. Me I look good for myself. It okay. makes me feel good. Okay. Mhm. Mm Haya. Now since that is out to <laughs> <laughs> the window so that was a kipindi <laughs> You are in Kenya for how long? For two weeks. Oh you are you are here for two weeks. Mm. Shamaliza one week. Shamaliza one week. Shamaliza one week. Mm. So there's one more week mm. then back to go see Junior. No, see my four boys. Oh, Wayne, <laughs> Miguel, Tyrone mm -hmm. and Junior. Yep. All right. All right. Stories are mm. unaendesha trailer America. <laughs> so <laughs> normally when you see Kenyans staying in the diaspora, mm -hmm. the stories normally are they do a couple of odd jobs. Mm -hmm. And the story is that mm -hmm. these odd jobs they pay really well. Mm -hmm. Is it true? Yeah, that odd 100%. jobs in the set, uh, they pay really well. So unaendesha trailer. <laughs> Eh, what, what, do do? what do you do? What, what do you do in the states? No, I'm a business lady. Okay. Mm. I'm a promoter. Okay. Yep. I'm and, a nurse. Uh -huh. Yep. And you're a single mother. And I'm a single mother. So single-handedly you you are taking care of four kids mm -hmm. and you're also you're a nurse, you're a promoter, you're a mm -hmm. business lady. Yeah. And you're also an influencer. So you're working with uh Optiven? Mhm. Mm okay. Yeah. So all this in one. In How one. do you juggle? Mm. What are your timings like? You know you just have to plan yourself in life. Okay. Yeah. Knowing that I'm a single mom that I know that I have to work, I have to have time for my kids, my kids are doing sports, they are going to school. So all that I have to put it in one I know that I'm the one who is doing it and I plan it. Okay. Yeah. It's not easy but it's doable. It's not easy. Yeah. How is it for a single lady in the states? A single mother that mm -hmm. is. What wow. wawa? Hey hey. Aje. Siku kukatia. Mm -hmm. You know, um, take care of the boys, mm -hmm. you know. 
ma, ma black course. america ma yoyo no of course kukatiwa is there i'm beautiful okay. you know and that one it's outside there but i'm not looking for somebody to come and take care of my kids i got my kids yo <laughs> <laughs> and i'm not looking for a father figure for my children okay. you know i got it okay my kids have their father you know okay i'm working hard for them so if i'm looking for somebody it's for me but not for my kids okay yeah like you're using my lines <laughs> no, I'm not kids. looking. Yet. I told my kids the same thing about mm -hmm. a week ago. Me and dad after mutu, ni kama ni kipata mutu, they are giving me conditions. Mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, find somebody. I'm finding the, somebody for me. Mm -hmm. It's not for you guys. Muko na mama zenu. No, but you see that one. It's good because the moment you you know that and you tell it to your kids, because a lot of people pin single mothers down when yeah. they start dating a single mother. Mm -hmm. Like you can find if I find somebody he's dating you, na zafikia familia kina sema hey. You know, that's the mentality that we have in Africa. Yeah. But when you come to the U.S., that mentality is not there. Even West Africa, they don't have that mentality. Okay. Your mentality is <laughs> Kenya. <laughs> but, my, but my boys were in there. But I got it. I got my kids. I know. They are well uh, taken care of. You know, my father. Mm -hmm. you know. No, but it depends when you are Okay. Yeah, so ukiingia ukiingia vizuri, mm. uwapende, you know, you you show their mom love, why okay. will they fight you? Okay. Yeah. You've never met someone and uh, either the kids didn't like the person or the person just realized you have a kid. But you, see that, but you see that one doesn't affect me. But have you ever met like a potential guy then I can No. Because I'm the one to decide if I'm going to be in that relationship. Not the guy. Not the guy. It's for me. It's me. Like lazima ni kuangalie. Do we align together? Okay. Like, are you the man that I'm looking for? Because okay. I've worked so much on my healing, so I have to decide. Like, this is the man that I'm looking for. Okay. This is the man that I want to be in my life. This is the man that you know I want to enjoy life with. Okay. Yeah. How is work though in the states? Work is good. Okay. Kazi ni mingi sana. Kazi kumi. Sisi ndoto na choka. For you. Mm. Venye Kenya kuna kazi. <laughs> Amen. Yaani Kenya mpaka kazi kutafuta kazi imekuwa kazi. Sisi tunapewa mpaka bonus. Bonus wote. Ndio tufanye kazi. Aje. So unaambiwa hii shift hata hakuna watu, mnapewa bonus. Mnataka kufanya. Mnapewa 300 dollars or 200. So you make a decision kama utafanya kazi au ufanye. <laughs> Badi kwa 150. <laughs> Tiko 151. Ime, imefika 151. Three hundred dollars. That's forty-five k. Mm. Ati ndo ufanya shift. Mm. Ju shift aina watu. Mm -hmm. Akuna. Ni wapi uku? <laughs> <laughs> Sisi yata forty-five thousand ni mi. Sisi yata rambi yatu. Uki pani uta lipo over time. <laughs> Ama uki pani ya salary ita chelewa. <laughs> Aya mevunja. Dio yo. Yep. Jobs like this ones exist. Yes. You know, we normally hear them and we think it's, it's like a scam. No, 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 no. People are given nini bonus every shift. Kazigani. But now that is overtime. That is now like your see shift, Yako. Okay. Mm. Oh, unafanya shift ya mtu mgini. Kama nikifanya shift ya nyesi yangu, nalipo 45,000. Simi, nda kufanya tu shift ya nyesi zangu. <laughs> <laughs> think with me, guys. Overtime. <laughs> Nye, unamanya tu overtime. I'm not going to show up to work, but I'll be there for the overtime. Yeah, and represent. people work. People are very hard working there. Okay. Yeah. How does someone get to find these jobs? When you are there? Even when you are here. When you are here, unless you apply for a green card, you win the green card. That's the easiest way. Because you know, at least you have work permit. Of course, people try so many times, but they win. I'm a part invitation. Yeah. I'm a wolewe. You get married to a citizen. But like in you, you mess with mama wengi. See, they date Kenyan men. Then now Kenyan men on wacheza. Si idea ni kuingia huko. Si ni kiingia huko. Ah, hakuna love. Eh, hey, <laughs> mimi nakupenda, uh, unanisainia, tunaoana na ingia huko napata kazi ya kuendesha matrela. Uh -huh. I'm busy driving the trailers. I can't drive two things at the same time. Yeye, unasonga nayo. Yeah. Wow. But there's there's a 
a lucrative opportunity in the states. Yes, there's a lot of opportunity. The people who come there, like me, I always tell people, don't waste yourself. Okay. Build yourself. Okay. Because you find most people, they come there, they get into alcohol, drugs. Yeah. Not all of them. Some, they go there, they go to school, <coughs> they build their life. Okay. Yeah. You, how did you end up in the states? Ulizaliwako? <laughs> no. Ulizaliwapa? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So I went to the states when I was 12, when my mom passed away. So my dad was living in the States. He was a, a citizen, so he filed for me. So I went to the States with green card. Oh. Yeah. Then you've been there since? Then I've been there. So your kids were born there? <laughs> yeah, my kids were born there. So they are citizens? Yes, by birth. What do you mean by birth? When you go to citizens, by? See me, I'm a citizen, but not by Where birth. Where are you Yes. Ah. Mm -hmm. OK. So we talk at 12, we can go Mm -hmm. But the father of your children is for here? Yeah, he's here. Bona yako enda uko? No, so when I got married, we lived here because he had married? a good job. Yes, I was married. Haya, naka mtu wako miolewa? Yes. Halafu? I was married. So he had a good job? Uh -huh. So he had a good job, so he said he cannot relocate to the U.S. So I'm the one who had to relocate here. So, nikipata ball, naenda na za U.S. Yes. Juu ya mapenzi? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So when I was eight months in the US, give birth, then I come back with the baby after two months. Oh, I like it. And I could pick a ball. Nakauku, we have got eight months. Uko kwandege. Niko na bio kaltoto treatment. Unenda kuzali uko. Ukizali uko two months. I come. Unadi jambo dodo kwa baba yake. No, si tunarudi. Si tunarudi Kenya. Tunarudi home. Oh, mm. and I quake me by Gine. Where were we on the gay? Yeah, I could not run a shivizuri. When you never do, who keep a bimba? Yeah, we are Pumwani. What about you know, Nakuza America? Woman Kazana Pumwani. Sasa what I don't get to Niaja Mashembe. By now, on the morning, Gine. What about you? What one of Kiria? What one of America? So, what do you find you for four of them? Yes. Nana, you want to live on the gay? See my ex-husband. Anna, she kinda. Mm, business class kwanza. Where we? Hey, we kaza na mabesheni pumwani. Mtoto abalishe mboshori. Mtoto na toka uko. Mwana watoto mtoto amechanga nyikiwa. We? Ah yeah. So kawaza wote ukawaleta hapa. Yep. And then walienda hapa je tena uko? So they went to school here until 2018. Okay. So that's when things went zigzag. In the marriage? Yeah. Then I relocated in the US 2018. When was it? November. Okay. Mm. Kabebo watoto? Yeah, nakabebo watoto wangu. Wama wangina watoto wangu. Muki wachana wanaenda na watoto. Wee unataka kutuwa sa watoto. Hati watoto wakai na baba. Hona? <laughs> <laughs> so things didn't work out. You relocated with the kids. Mm -hmm. Was it easy? Was it an easy transition? There was like a barricade or something. It was it was okay. okay. So he didn't disturb me. Yeah. He said it's fine. Okay. For the best of the kids, because you know, nipo at na mama yao. But how was it on the kids though? Now that the family unit, then all of a sudden mom is gone, dad is not here. No, it wasn't it? easy. You know, divorce is not easy. Oh, it was like a divorce, divorce. Mulio yeah. wana, 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 like mm. church. Mm. Ama kwa diyo. Ile ya... Kuna rusia diyo. Yeah, ile ya, ina itu aje, registra. No, I was legally married. So we... Do you take... Mm. So divorce peer was very legal. Yep. Okay. So it did affect my children because you see they were used to having their dad, their mom together. Okay. So it wasn't easy for both sides, for me, for my children. Okay. But we worked through that phase together. My yeah. family was very supportive. My dad was there for me, hundred okay. percent. Yeah. How was it on you though? No, oh, it wasn't easy. Yeah. Kulia proper. Hey, kulia depression. You're depressed mm. because of the divorce and because of the. See, because of the divorce, 
Oh, si juu ya ndege. <laughs> <laughs> no, those are material things. Uh-huh. Mm. And material things, they can be replaced. But the divorce, it's not easy. Okay. You know, I always tell people, like, divorce, it's something that is very hard, very painful, because it's not something that you are planning okay. to have. Yeah. You know, it's not something that we are all, we, like, we are prepared to, like, it's going to happen. You know, this is a heartbreak. Okay. This is someone that you have been with for years, Mkonawatoto. So this is a family that is breaking, so you have to start again by yourself. It's not easy. How could you at some point, let me go back? Hmm? Zile ma good night, zile the midnight. I mean, no, 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 no. Me once you disrespect me, what do I have to miss? Ah. Kuna zile, you know. Mm-mm. Okini heart, there is nothing to miss. Name the street. No, no, Name no. Name no, no. I was focusing on I my head. I'm all inside <laughs> my heart. I'm all alone. Nope. The rooms are getting <laughs> smaller. <laughs> In Afikanga, by the way. Okay. Sometimes you get in the middle of the night, How you're just you, like. Let me ask you. How can you miss someone who has hurt you? How? It happens. It's. It's a human thing. Most of us, when we are, when we are hurt, we normally tend to go back to the people. I think us. men do that because they are confused. You know, men. I'm jungle name Nataka. Me me do. I mean, Nataka Range Rover number No, 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 no. Yeah. Kwa nza men of Nairobi, they are very confused. I'll join you what they want. I don't even know they know the meaning of love. Ah. Mwana uma Nairobi mesia mnambiwa. Zio kweli wa mekata. Ni kudona dona. So maybe that's what they want. Who tells you that's not what they want? Of course, that's what they want. And that's why I tell ladies, a man always knows what he wants. Okay. So that's why it's good to accept. If somebody cheats on you, the marriage is not working, you accept. So your guy cheated on you? Yes, he did. You? Mm. Eh. Ah, yeah. Okay, wanaume. <laughs> <laughs> if you can cheat on her, wanaume tunataka. <laughs> eh. Oh, mungina <laughs> kama I concur. You know, ah. men always have this saying. Mm. Do you know what's better than one woman? But you lose everything. Two women. Yep. Tama iliwa fish. You go for Aku that. Kufa. Ah, but na na kanga mnyama very ugly. <laughs> very confused. <laughs> hey, who hurt you? <laughs> when you come because I'm not buying now, now you may complain. So now now you No, I've not complained by the way. So for you in a relationship, what's a deal breaker? Cheating. Cheating too? I ah, mean cheating, I don't forgive. Define cheating. At cheating, how do I define cheating? Like, mm. there are people who say, mm. ukiangala demgine ukona, damn, that's cheating. Kuna mgine manya anasema, kam ni kona wewe, na nafikiria demgine, that's cheating. Mm-hmm. Kuna ule manya anasema, mm-hmm. mbaka akupate uko katikatu na ngurumisha. Mm-hmm. Now, hapo na anasema, enyewe, this is cheating. No, that's denial. Because cheating is somebody having a relationship with another woman outside marriage. Okay. I'm an outside relationship. Flirting. Flirting is cheating? Yes. Kwani after flirting, it leads to sex. Ah, uh-uh, sometimes. Mm. <laughs> 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 uh? My ex used to tell me that flirting was, yeah. was just flirting. Oh, is, I'm just flirting. But no, it's fine. No, no. Story for another day. We mm-hmm. move. So you cheating, deal breaker. Yeah, me, I don't forgive cheating. Okay. Went to the States mm-hmm. with the kids. Wakafika. How was it? Culture hey, shock, Nini? It was not easy because I left my kids here for like six months. Oh, Ulienda, Ukambia, Wacha, Nini, Ntengeneze, Barabara. Yeah, because I wanted, for when they come, it's, you know, they are comfortable. So, I was in, I had an apartment, two bedroom apartment. So, when they came, they were very shocked because Kenya, we took a five bedroom. House. But they are five bedroom. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> so when they came, they're like, hey, mom, this house is the size of your room. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that's what my first one told me. Hey, mom, this room, this, this uh, nini apartment is the size of your bedroom. Oh, yeah. Bedroom yako ya Kenya. Eh. So kwa ni two bedrooms. So, so was, moja wa share, mm, moja ni yako. Mm. No, I used to share with my kids, with my two boys. Like to Rudy Chini. We had what to do start. You, mean share with so, two boys? you know, it, I had a two bedroom apartment. Okay. So when my kids came, they came with my nanny here okay. in Kenya. So when they came, so I see one room, I had a double decker. So what, my first one, and a Jew, nanny, then me and Junior, and one of my son. 
Also, room yako pia ulikuwa na double decker. No, I didn't have a double decker. Yeye ataka ni shida. What do you want to lala you? No, 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 no. <laughs> so my bedroom I used to Junior used to sleep there and Tyrone. Uh, yeah. But I used to work overnight. So sikuwa na langa home. Umuna shift kulala. Oh, Una shift kulala. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that transition was not easy for my kids. Actually, they didn't like America. Wakanibe, mami, wana go back to Kenya. Watoto waka wakupenda America? Mm-mm. Shida ya watoto wengine inakuwanga ni nini? Awakupenda <laughs> 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 America? Kozu huku walikuwa na peleko shule na driver. So walipo kuja America, oh. it's cold. Niko job. Wanaenda kusimama. They had to walk to school. No, that time hile shule walinge, they had to use a bus. So wana sima makuwa bus stop, wana sikia baridi, they're not used to that. Mm. Waliko mezoa kuspoiliwa huku Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> so they had a culture shock. It wasn't easy. Okay. Yeah. But so far they're blending in well. Oh, they love right it now. now. Things are, wanataka kurudi Kenya bado? No, because after two years, things worked out good. I bought a house. So kila mtu wakakua na bedroom yake. Put so we five walk, bedroom house. No, four bedroom. Mm. So we wa- walk that that journey with my kids. They've seen you go they through it They have seen all. me going through, you know, working hard. They're not seeing me. So it has been a beautiful journey. Amai kono kilia? Mm, there's a time you cry. Mtu ya nakupata. Na explain why you're crying. Of course. Onions. Somebody. <laughs> Oh, no, something in my eye. <laughs> that is, junior. That is, <laughs> no, Junior didn't understand anything. You know, Junior was small. Yeah. Ada says, Junior, ya juange anything. Kina wei mtundo walikuwa na sema nyewe. Hey, wei ndo walikuwa na I feel, Miguel, Tyrone, and skate in life. Yeah. Kuna venye so, turudi Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> so, fast forward, mm-hmm. you've bought a house now. Mm-hmm. Four bedroom house. Kids are going to good school. Life is happening well. Yeah. How did you transition into the event promotion because most people know in Kenya because of the event promotional saga mm-hmm. there's been a couple of situations what situation we'll get to that <laughs> <laughs> we will unpack that in a little bit uh-huh. but that is where you got in uh, how did you get into event promotion and why if you too i think i was talking with my dad he had done um ale tanganani was it like dube in the us babako ni letter like dube in the us eh kwani how old is your dad <laughs> <laughs> the Gen Z are like, what do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mm. Then uh, my uncle is a musician. So yeah. Nikasima, you know what? It's just good to try things. Okay. You know, let me try do the promotion. Then I see where it goes. Okay. And it was very successful. We made a lot of money. What is a lot of money? <laughs> good money. Yeah. yeah. So you've done it a couple of times. Mm-hmm. Now you've done it once. No, I did it once. Oh, you did it once. And it was very successful. Worked out well. Oh, perfect. Okay. Mm-hmm. And how did you transition also into being an influencer? No, um I think uh when we were doing the the show yeah. So after I was done with the show, um, Optive and reached me out. Okay. No, I can use if I can become their brand ambassador for diaspora. So then I just agreed, like just like that. It was good money. So in Colombia, yep, why not? Let's do it. Let's do it. When God is working, when God every, is everything working, everything is working well. Everything is working. Okay. Mm. All right. You're doing this job. You're doing events. You're being a mother. You're balancing with everything you're doing, and also back and forth to Kenya. Mm-hmm. All this time, you're part of what? After the circle. Oh. Yeah. Hey, tell us <laughs> more. Uh-huh. And then who said that I cannot be single? No, 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 no. Nobody's saying that. I'm not mm-hmm. single, mom, single, mom. Nini, nini. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I can be single. Okay. Because mm-hmm. you know, before you enter into a relationship, you have to work on yourself. Especially if you are from a breakup, or you are from a divorce. Okay. Most people, the mistake they do, they jump into a relationship. Because you have to heal. Okay. No, no, you don't have to jump to another relationship who use them to carry rebound, you know? So it's just good to work on yourself, heal. Because you see, like me, I had so many things that I had to work on. You know, I had to work on my kids. I have to work on myself, you know? Yeah. So that one, when I mix with the relationship, I'm going to fail on my kids. Because you see, you cannot have two at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. How long did it take you to heal from your marriage for you to get into the next relationship? 
Yeah, the healing. It took me three years. Oh. Mm. And then you got someone else. <laughs> 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 I'm, a I'm at like a logo. happy space. Oh, but yeah. we were three after three years. I could after three years. So it took you three years. Yeah, it took me three years to heal. Like, okay. ile, like even if I think about my ex, I'm not bitter. Okay. Ile, like I'm at peace. I'm happy. I don't have regrets. Okay. No, no. Like healing, like completely, I'm healed. Yeah. Ile, I'm a happy soul. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Alrighty. A lot of people are liking you on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Bani Sniki are kaguku. Oh, you know Kikuyu. I'm in Dikapa. Bani Sniki na nafanya uko. Oh, <laughs> no, okay. Someone is saying that flirting is different in uh, women and men. Mm -hmm. A man flirting with 10 girls, maybe only two will sleep with him. A lady flirting with 10 men, <laughs> all of them will sleep with her. That's true. That's true, by what? the way. Uh, so a man can flirt with 10 girls, mm -hmm. and maybe just two will. I disagree because with them. Because when you are wasting time, you are wasting time, you are wasting time, you are wasting time, you are wasting But for a man, mm -hmm. The minute a lady is flirting with her, that man is always ready. Mm -hmm. Which also, uh, let me ask you this question as a side, side story. What do you think of a woman having a male best friend? You can have a male best friend. There's nothing wrong with that. But you guys have to have boundaries. But who, who friend will you for how long? Okay. You know? So if it's childhood friend to me grow, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. But so easy, how can I meet you and you become my best friend? You don't want me to be a best friend? No, of course, lazima <laughs> kukwe na interest, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So, umesema, normally it can't it's just happen like that. It's childhood friends. Unless like, unasikia mtu na kuambia, we grew with this one from primary, <coughs> to kind of high school, pamoja. Yeah. Yeah. That one to me, it's fine. Okay. Ah, yeah. Mutano, liza hapa mutu wako wako Kenya ama USA. Kati ubina, umesema, unapenda utu change mahari. Mari na chango. Mi Eric duingie live. Mi Eric amekuwa na changia watu. Mari na chango. Ndio mimi najanga hapa nimesikia hapa I'm like me by the way when one kia kwa group za kuchanga ya kuchanga mahari ama nini why wanatoka. I don't think it's an emergency. If you want to do a wedding and maybe you can't call two three of friends to stand with you you don't have to tell people ni changeni nifanye wedding it's not an emergency. Hospital whatever that's fine. Mahari. Oh, tasema yako uchangiwe. Hapa ah, no 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 no. Okay, that's Mimi cool. hata mahari kidogo tricky but it's fine. Au utatoa? <laughs> Mtu wake ako Kenya ama US. Au <laughs> jajibu hiyo swali imeletwa hapa. <laughs> Watajua with time. Oh, mtajua with time. <laughs> Ati Obina leo we are hearing the voice cameraman is failing us. We just hearing the voice. Huh? What do you mean? Is sound sound is not okay? Guys, let me know in the comment section. Is sound not okay? You can't hear her well. Sound iko sawa. Huyu ndio kidogo. Wewe tupa hiyo mkebe. Na tusikia kwa mkebe. Alafu sound is not okay. Aya. Aya, wacha tuingie sasa kwa mambo sasa moto moto. Sasa ume feel I feel at home. Ume ume relax kidogo. Roy umetulia. Aya. Chaniko. You want cold or cold? Cold, eh? Huko mpenge watu juice. Ni maji tu. Galvo, juice, which juice do you want? Passion. Passion juice. Mm. You're a passionate lady. Of course. Okay. Passion juice Thanks. coming right up. This is Miale. Mm. So now I want us to talk about your situation mm. with the uh, sound is good. Yeah, sound is good. Wanasema size yako. What do wanasema when size yangu? Okay, ninawaona. Size ya nani? Ninaona size yangu. <laughs> but I've always said it everywhere in, in all the interviews I do and everything. I always say me always like my women obvious. Mm. You know, when you pay the rent, you understand. She's, you know, she has weight and she occupies space. Oh wow. Yeah, okay. see them I won't ya koapi. I always say it, but me call me serious. But we are not here to talk about me, we are here to talk about you. So I want to deviate story. Guys, focus on the comment section. <laughs> Tokeni kwangu. Atuko kwangu. Tuko kwake. Leteni maswali zake. So there's been a situation mm. uh, between you, Samido, Karen Nyamu, and Edith. Mm. Edith, right? Mm -hmm. Samido's wife, Edith. Mm -hmm. Edith ama Ida. The way you pronounce it. Edith. Let's go with Edith. Mm. Okay. 
So I want us to talk about that. We want to unpack that. What really happened? Because people are saying, Wuna pita na bwana wenyewe, umepita na Samido, na Edith ni beshte yako, ah. mara kidogo huku hivi umechongoa, karen nyamu nini. So there's been that situation. Zinasema huku Kenya? Yeah, it's everywhere. Mm. Hatu kinge hivi TikTok. There's mm. that. It's a hot place. Mm. So I want us to talk about that. But before that, wata kwanza niongena watu wangu kidogo. Listen. You can have a chance to advertise on Obina uh, TV, on Obina Show Live. The best way to do it is just send us an email. If you have a product you want people to see, when you sit here with a guest on Taco, I enjoy, come on a drink yako, ama we sample, ama we show them, you can get to advertise on Obina Show Live. Send us an email, tv.gmail.com, and we'll be able to get back to you. And this show normally comes live from Miale 72 Lounge. Ume oda kitu ya kukula? Mm-mm. Ume nikimbisha tu hapa. Kuna jisikia kula nini? Samaki. Samaki. Mm. Very good. So in Miale, we are known for the best delicacies. Tuko na samaki, kuna kukuchoma, kuna nyama choma, Miale special. So when you pass by, just ask for being a special, they'll give you ample parking space. Privacy is guaranteed. There's a car wash on site as well. Na security eco. Mwah. Check this video out. And of course, also I need to tell you about House of Magic. So these guys, they not only pack these waters nicely like this for your wedding, for your graduation, for your event. No, they also purify them. You want to get systems for purification of water, they can supply you with that. You want them to purify for you and package like this, they can do it. Nata kutafuta imaji kwa bohol. You want them kukuja kuchimbia kisima, House of Magic does it all. Wana kuchimbia kisima, wana uh, purify, mbako wana kwa tangi ju, nini, everything. Check this video. Yep, and that's what's up. Now, uh, I'm afraid of heights. I don't like heights, okay? But I've decided to go and conquer my fear, so I want to go zip lining for the first time ever. And I want to bring you with me. That's why I've partnered with Nai and Beyond. I'm going for a road trip to the forest. Tunaenda uko, tuna zip line. Tunafanya archery. Tunaendesha mabike. Ni kama team building yetu ya mwaka. So, hii team yetu wewe na mimi tunaenda. So, ngana wase wako. So you get to book uh, with, uh, uh, they are called nai and beyond.co.ke. The number is on the screen. Call them up, book your slot. Unakuja nandai yako, okay? You come with your machine, with your people, and what do we do? Tuna drive all the way. Muneza atachukua muhaya gari, muneza atachukua taxi, nini tunaenda nayo. Kuna wabeshitangu wanakam, nikona walami wengine waine. Nikona walami waine, na nikona wabosi wengine waine. Sasa mkuje murepresent, eh? Museme obi na huku waitu saidia kwa ima isha nini nini. That's the plan. It's kumi bora. Ten months is already down. We have to celebrate in style. I want to go conquer my fears. Come through, let's go have a good time, all right? Kumi bora, the road trip. The date is on the screen. That is Saturday, 11th November, 22 Genice. All righty, now we're back. Samido. What's up with Samido? Okay, good show you did with Samido in the States. Oh, yeah. The two white was beautiful. Sana. Sold out, jam-packed. Mm -hmm. However, mm -hmm. after that, there was a lot of situations. Mm -hmm. What's your relationship with Samido? <laughs> we are family. As in Mutuako? No, Samido is married. I don't date married men. And oh. I don't date family. See, it's a taboo. Family, Aje? See, family. As in you are related? Mm. With and Samido? Yeah. And then I don't date married men. Oh. Yeah. So when Asamido Akuna? Nope. So when you called him in the States, when you guys were doing the tour, what was the same house? You know, Kenyan, they are very. How do I even call it? Not after. <laughs> the nice one. I think Kenya side chick Nwengi Zana. 
Oh. Eh? And I think women are very weak. I think kuku, people, like, they don't value relationship. Okay. So the moment they just see a lady and a man, they just believe what <coughs> Nikulala. People don't know that. People do business, you see. And when Samido came to the U.S., Samido is a musician. It was work, you know. So I had a house for him. You know, I have a four-bedroom house. There's no way I can move my kids. So, and he had uh, his drumist. So he had his own house, a B&B. Oh, Akulala Kwako. Why would he sleep in my house? That was the story. Exactly. When you make Kenyans, that's how, that's the mentality of Kenyans. Okay. Mm. So he did the tour. You said you guys made good money, oh, yeah. but there was a situation between you and Karen. What's the beef? I don't have a beef with her. But really? it's been decide chick. But I don't have a beef with her. Why would I have a beef with her? Am I like Miss Bibia Samido? No, come on, situations mm. that we've been seeing online that there's Gamburugano, wewe na yeye, hakupendi, umpendi, hamupenda. Alisa mani pendi. No, no, no. I, did, I didn't hear her say it, but kuna, you know, when teams, what kuna teams? Mm. So there's Team Karen, there's Team You, there's mm. Team Samido, there's Team Well, and then there's Team Sisi. <laughs> Who's winning? <laughs> Ask her, like, we're going with the winning team. Wow. Uh, yes, we're going with the winning team, you know. I didn't know that's how Vitu Ziko kwa ground. Yeah, there's always Nini. No, na kuna asenali, kuna maniwa, alafu sasa kuna ma, mm. ma, ma, mamori wengine wa Liverpool na, <laughs> <laughs> na kina Man City. Eh. Yeah, wako hapo pia. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So there is no beef between you and Karen? <laughs> I don't want to comment about that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, watch to watch it. But what's your relationship with you and uh, Edith like? Edith is my sister. It's good. Oh. Anasema ulimpeleka America. <laughs> New Kweli. When Edith came to the US, yeah. Samido posted on his page. Ama mkuwena yu. Leona, lakini. Exactly. The husband posted on his page. Yeah. The family are, are going for vacation. So, nilingililia wapi hapo. Ati wendo li muambia wachana na Samido kuja huku ni kupatia mzungu. So, how would I tell uh, nani Edith that chana na marriage yake? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, badu na support your marriage? The marriage deal there, though. That's not my story. That's Edith's story and Samido. Okay. Yeah. Aye. But other people are also saying you've been a good friend mm -hmm. to Edith. You've been yeah. supportive of her. And uh, they're commending you for that. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's so cute. <laughs> oh, Santi, thank you. if we meet the king of Mugidi since I come. Who's king of Mugidi? Samido. Samido. Ah. Who else? I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. you are a loo. Oh, also. God, Pana, <laughs> Professor. <laughs> Excuse you. Engineer. Mm, is that that's how you are a king of Mogidi. You are a presenter. Some of you are a presenter. You are a presenter. So, presenter, when you are a Samido. You are a Samido. Oh. Now, you are a one man. Ule. There was another one. Before Samido, there was another guy. Which one? one man guitar, someone. Ju Salim Junior. Is it Salim Junior or something? There used to be a Salim Junior in there. Yeah, no. I think, yeah. No, I mean, but I think good songs. Yes, then now there's also another one. There's Grace Wamama. Grace Wamama. <laughs> Grace Wamama. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. There's Grace Wamama. Is it Piano Mama? Grace Wamama. Joyce Wamama. Oh, Joyce Wamama. So Grace. Now, what a governor, Madonna. Grace Wamama, I try. There's Joy Swa Mama. There's Joy. Okay. Then kuna uyu mwenye sikuiza na uza mashamba with the gospel one. Which one? There's Jose Gatutura. Jose Gatutura. Ehe, ni oni memujua. Kuna uyu dem. Uyu mwenye. Karebi. Osi Karebi. Which one? Uyu ana dancingi kabisa hivi. Ana nafanyanga gospel. Shiro wa GP. Shiro wa GP. Shiro, she's in gospel. Ehe. The Shiro wa GP. The industry is quite. It's very big. Ehe. Kuna DJ Fat, so hana pika fuu, 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 ile nini, sindio? The industry is huge. Uwe si mjui. Awu njui DJ Fat, so? Na membo mbo gani? Gu, inaitua, inaitua, ah, ile, uwe si mulipatie, give me just the name, I know the name, I know the rhythm. Nimesau. 
Ah, surely, guys, come on, really? Guys, you can do better. <laughs> Look at you guys just leaving me here to hang and dry here. Sile. <laughs> Mwomboko! Mwomboko! Ebu imba wimbo yake. Ama describe him. Did you have a tool? Listen, you know. Yeah, I'm going to do it. 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 Okay, it's fine. Let's, let's move on. <laughs> let's move on. <laughs> and the demanga. Oh, the one who went away with the murder case. Eh? The one who went away with the murder case. <laughs> Of that child. Wow. Yeah, that, yeah. Must be nice. Ah, yeah. Kamoko. I remember him. Yeah, I know Kamoko. Mm. Yokicheko says a lot. I don't know. Same one. I check and come on and attack. Ah. Eti unantaka. Interesting. Eh, wana sema. Is your mimi si kuapa? Where na then unasoma vitu zako? There's ah? nothing like that. Nikupati usome. Yes, let me see. Ah, and you. Now, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. They know me better. <laughs> they know you better. <laughs> they know you better than that. <laughs> ah, wow. Who you know, Nakwanga Meiva? Charles Kaudi. I can't remember my yapa. Ati, who you leo a piki a lola breakfast at Yamka? Guy! <laughs> Oh, what been on as a message? Ah, yeah, Sindioi. But you've been a stop assuming. <laughs> ah, yeah, Nataka Usome, Sawa, and Zia Apple. Like four or five lines. Eh? Niko Api. Soma Tule Unona. <laughs> Nimeona. <yu>. Umeona. <laughs> eh, Soma next. Tasema, oh, Bina, you were careful to Zaki Apple on our TikTok, Sawa, and Nita Fisi. <laughs> You know, now I'm going to come to my school. Let any maswali bring all the questions. Oh, no, 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 She's always happy. By the people asking, do you have sad moments? I've always normally thought when I normally see your post, ukipika, saying you know that dance kidogo, you always smile, smile. Do you get sad sometimes, Maku because it was a man? Yeah, I do. Like last year I lost my grandmother. Okay. Last year was the worst year for me. Okay. You know, it was so hard. How you know? do you overcome hey, yeah. such moments? Because there's someone right now who probably has a failed relationship, maybe mm -hmm. has been fired from a job, or mm -hmm. is having a sickness, or mm -hmm. just a situation with life. Mm -hmm. And they're very sad, and they're looking at you, they're like, oh, you're not checking out all the time, man. Like me, sometimes when I laugh on this show, people are like, oh, we're not laughing too much. I'm like, you guys don't know the pain that I hide behind yeah. the laughter sometimes or that I've been through, mm -hmm. or how I go through them. Mm -hmm. So you, how do you, like a single mother, mm -hmm. how do you go through the pain, the loneliness, the no, emptiness? No, I'm not lonely. I've never been lonely. Okay, the aloneness. I've never have, have those moments. <laughs> cool. Just answer the question. No, <laughs> yeah. the loneliness, that one, no. Okay. But bad moments are there, low moments are there, because life is not easy. Yeah. But you decide there outcome of it okay. you know you decide like you have to fight depression you know depression it's your mind bullying you okay. so you have to fight that you have to overcome that okay and by overcoming that it's been positive with life you know you accept what you are going through and then you ask yourself what is the result what do i have to do to overcome this okay you know and my kids my kids they keep me going so my total. hey I don't know. Okay. You know, but you have to look for something else that is going to keep you going. You know, life has to, you always have to have that one thing that's keeping you going. Okay. No, no. The thing that gives you a reason to mm, fight. You may not have kids, but you have your parents, you know, yeah. you have your family. You know, now when I join the next one, I'm going to get kids. I'm okay. working hard for this. Okay. Mm. 
Okay. So Why are you laughing? <laughs> I'm done with the questions here. <laughs> Guys, can we ask serious questions? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, really? The questions are, are not questioning. <laughs> like, trust me, questions here are just like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, ask serious questions, you know, like how, how do you get visa? You know, <laughs> powerful things. How do you get an old muzungu? Like, you know, things. Easy. Oh, wanna check out the romantic. Already we have our wife. Ebu <laughs> ask her if she can adopt me. He <laughs> omgu we. Babukanja. Anarudi lini. Obina yo smiley naka seductive. Eh? Ask her if she would date you. Salimia, my girl, Aki, vile nampena, she inspires me a lot. Mwambia nataka kunge nae, naitua Milka. Nimikikuyu wa wapi. Where are the boys? Kwani ya kona Roots Western? Yeah, so. Wani wani muluya? Kuna nimiza waluya? Nope, kikuyu masai. Wani yaro? No, as we don't. Madema wa wu simba. Anawa nyani. No, as we Unawa fisi. No. Zinza mu simba. Unaweza kula fisi. If you don't get it, forget about it. Okay. So maswali apa kidogo. Oh, ask her about nyako and ako there. So ask her what? Do you know nyako? Yeah, I see her. She's on TikTok. Yes. Mm. You know her code? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So what am I supposed you to do? You are ask about her. I don't oh, know. yeah. I know her code. I'm very proud of her. She's a single mom. Yeah. The way she, she raised her kids. Yes. Mm. I'm very proud of her. The woman that she has become. Yes. She just went viral. She's doing well. Okay. You know, I love to see women shine. Okay. So I'm very proud of them. Ask her to give tips a green card. Are there tips for getting a uh, green card? Akuna tips, but size in the application, it's going on. And it ends on November 8th. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, all you apply, when do you apply? Okay. And a flap na macho zake wa lai. Where? Atikati amba na baniso bina ni gani ka. Ah, mimi napenda mungu. <laughs> Mimi ni wa Mungu. Anajua Brian Chira. Anajua Brian Chira. Yeah, I saw that kid on TikTok yeah. and I think that kid needs help. Okay. Unaweza unaweza msaidia. By the help of Brian Chira ni ende rehab because kama ni pesa I've seen people have removed money. Yeah. He has gotten enough money. Yeah. But you know people don't know about mental health. Mental health is real. People take it for granted. People take it for granted yeah. and wh- what I see on TikTok, people just try because you see i think i'll just use this word people are using him because yeah. i can get tiktok yeah, I'm too, in a pata numbers people get views so instead of healing that child i'm helping that child yeah. they just make it worse because brian can kutukanana people start fueling it because fuel, yes. if i'm helping you ama if i love you the moment i start seeing you you started to insult I'll drop the live. Yes. Then I call you. Or I'll call you out. Yeah. Call then I walk out. with you through. But I'm not going to keep you alive for two hours. When That's not a friend. Yeah. You know? But in today's world, we don't have friends. Okay. Friends are rare. So I think Brian needs help. I think it's mental health is real. How People do you are know, losing it. How do you know a fake friend from a real friend? How can you But you can tell. You can see. There are people who can. There are people who have friends and they try to fit into their friends' shoes. Mm-hmm. They try to fit into their lifestyle mm-hmm. and everything. Number um, one, you should not force friendship. Okay. And you should not work so hard. You know? Yeah. And you should not be, you're the one who is always doing so much. I, yeah. It needs to be both ways. Okay. No, no, yeah. Finally, we have a very important question here. What would you advise young girls mm. that men manipulate into having kids and then leaving them so they become single mothers? I love to go to the house. 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 I love to go to the house.
you know you go to school you become financially stable yeah. and get the child for you in case anything happens <coughs> divorce if any I'm a relationship the relationship doesn't work out you have nothing to regret about come on my two children three four like me that you are proud of your children see it utaanza kuficha watoto wako ndo upate relationship ama upeleke watoto ushago usemange una watoto Yeah. Get babies when you are ready. Na usipate ball ndo ushike chali. That one doesn't work. Yeah. Unaona? Sit down, discuss with the person, then get children. Children are beautiful. So it has to be your decision. It has to be ready. your decision. Yeah, okay. You are ready, you're financially stable, you're mentally stable for a baby because mtoto ni kazi. Yeah. You know, That's motherhood true. is a it's serious and a lot of people they don't they don't know what motherhood is. The thing is a walk in the park. Yeah, because you remember think, Unazar. Eh, because once you become a mother, a lot of things you have to sacrifice. Wezi shindanga dunda 24/7. Ati Monday, Friday, Saturday uko dunda. No. Kuna vitu zingine utaf ku cut kwa life yako. Useme saa hizi ni motherhood. Watoto wangu wa grow. Watoto wangu kishamaliza ku grow, then I go back to enjoying life. Just le- the way our parents did. What do you think of mama wanavuta bangi, sigara, mm-hmm. shisha, pombe? <laughs> It depends with how you do it because you see also you have to enjoy your life if you are doing responsibly it's not bad okay. but if you are being careless with it unavuta uko na teenagers unakunywa that's what your children will start doing but if you are doing responsibly it's yeah. not bad so with moderation yeah with moderation will she reunite samido's family now that ako kenya life guru how am i supposed to reunite aje si wendo ongea na samido ni nini kuongea naye aje I don't know I'm only Zappa. No. That's not my my story. Yeah. By the way about mental health, mtu anajua aje ako mentally unhealthy, Bismarck. Yeah, mental health. You start seeing. So how should I put it in the right nini? Unajua kuna watu ni machizi na wajuni machizi. Mm. Unakutata mtu ana provoke na kitu kidogo hivi mtu ameenda amekuwa crazy yeah. some hide from alcohol na kuta mtu anakunywa ndio aweze ku express feelings zake okay. akirudi soba kiangalia ile mesa amefanya anarudi tena kwa pombe kunywa sahau kukunywa na sahau and you know people here take mental health very like it's just a joke like in the US you find some people there single moms life it's not easy they go to the hospital wanapata dawa za anxiety you find people on medication just to calm you down no na okay. cuz it's not easy life it's okay kia na kuongea story ya mental health tunaingia kwa another space it's a whole eh ina kwa watu kwa base nyingine yeah yes <laughs> walai obina huyu ame seduce hadi mzaya hapa hivi imagine ana watch amekataa kwenda kulala <laughs> ibrahim <laughs> we baba ibrahim <laughs> don't kio <you>, maga <laughs> <laughs> Unaribia Ibrahim time za kunyonga. <laughs> Ibrahim ana kala mzee, Ibrahim ana watch mzee ana watch. <laughs> Baba Ibrahim shwali uta watch kesho iko kwa YouTube. Aiendi mahali. <laughs> eh hey, Ibrahim amepitia. Ibrahim bro, I feel you man. I feel you man. Don't worry, unaweza cha mzee watch hii uta watch kesho. Aya. Ma Ben 10 it's your time to shine when they my you day see ni more. Can you date someone younger than you? No. Ah uh-uh. ah. Why are you <laughs> making noise? Kwani swali ni yenu? Enjoy what me just siwezi. Eh. Ah. Kuna kimori ukiko 25 hivi hapa wako wa comments. I don't want to be a mother to to anybody. Hataki ukwe mama yake. Mabenten. Eh. Hai, ana mtu anakupigia mam sina sina lunch na sikanga hivi ndo anasemanga. No, nataka kulomba tu. No, no, no. Na kwa anti wa hali ya. Hai, no, me I'm not desperate. Penye niko msupu hivi. Niende Benten. Kwani watu wanakwanga na Benten watu maongongo? No let me tell you. <laughs> you know Muda sometimes sura yake bila nataka. <laughs> you know sometimes as women we are not patient to wait for your person. Yeah. It's not easy to get a good person. No na. And most of the time we are not patient. Yeah. Yeah. So umesema mtu younger than you? No, mimi mtu younger than me hapana. Niweze kumfundisha hapana. Yeah, yeah. I have my boys. Si una mongeza kwa hiyo bogi. Ukiingia mali hivi na kwa them boys. 
<laughs> Wee yes, boys, yes. Skia, who let the dogs out? Imagine. <laughs> Unaingia na mbogi ya mtu ka 7. Ah, mm. but no I can't. Okay. Haya ma Ben 10 mumeambiwa kidogo munini. So unataka someone your age ama older? <laughs> mtu wako 50? <laughs> Na ulisi ya wazaezi. Baba hivi na hindu ya pamba. Mesa ke mtu. Oh. Ulisa tu. Aya. Pass my greetings. Bonfast kinoti ya mekusalimia. Mekusalimeka. Um, muta na juwaja ya commentary and healthy. We've spoken about that one. Hiyo mguni ya jaluo. Maka <laughs> 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 live guru ya nabiwa atulie. We, amekazana hapa na makomenza. Maka maka komenza wana. Relax, relax. Ati leta amari kasi pulu. Unajua kasi pulu? Mm-mm. Ujui shehe? Mm-mm. Utaki zandani? Uwe ni zandani. Mwambie mama pendo kutoka mwea amesema hai. Oh hai. Mama pendo hame kusalimia. Eh, oh. Mwambie ni connect na job. That lady has a good heart I know. I know she can help me. I'm a chef by profession but no work. Pauline anasemu muorganize kazi. <laughs> Kuna mtu hapa anasema ni pilot <laughs> wa aviator. <laughs> Ask her whether she would think of marriage. I think of remarrying. Yeah, love is a beautiful thing. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Nasikia hataki marriage mental to advise Kenya ladies wachane na wababa. <laughs> Ehe. Uh-huh. Kazi kwako. We, that top. Ndia. Umejaka hivyo kwani kuna meshiki yako flani umejua. Kuna amari kumani. You know me, I always fight guys. They always tell me I fight them with kuambi wachene na wababa. Ok. Eh, wachene wachene na mabu wanaza wenyewe. Ok. No, musi msikize. Wachene mini wambie. Ayy. Muke wa wenyewe sumu. Bwana ya wenyewe mazewa. Wacha <laughs> mabwana wajiongelele. And that's why you find mental health it's a, a lot of women ah. they are very depressed here. Yes, I'm a side chick wengi they are crazy. Okay, that's true. They are empty. They are not whole. They don't side believe in empty. themselves. Side chick here. Oh my god, side chick. The moment I start dating a married man, I don't believe in myself. See, you believe that's why you've conquered what is already been What have you conquered? That man is using you. The first time when that man comes to you, he tells you, I'm married. Guys, silence, silence. Chat on WhatsApp group. (laughs) So the moment that man comes to you, he does not even approach you with respect. He comes, tells you, I'm married. Don't call me at night. Don't text me. Wait for me to call. Like, una poor conditions kwa relationship ikianza. But conditions, lazima no. kwa relationship. But love, I can go to a, it's like relationship. Ana hukuja na love. Akupai conditions. Ana kwa I love you. I want to take you for dinner. I want to marry you. Call me anytime. Eh. Hey. Kani melala. Eh. Hey. Ato uspopigio na teta. Lakini sasa saichi kuna poor conditions. You know? Aya. Nimesema mutaki nini. <laughs> so women need to believe in themselves. Yeah. They need to love themselves. And they need to have value. Because the moment you have value, you believe in yourself, you are whole, you are complete, you will not allow men to use you. Because okay. that's how men they were created. No, na. Because uki mkata, if you are a side chick, mkatae, siye cheta kosa kuenda kudeti mwingine, he will move, wenda katafta another side chick. And mm. men don't respect side chick. At the end of the day, a man will always respect his wife. Okay. Mm. Pigana na imambo ya side chick na nini? Na ribia wanaume soko. Mujua sometimes, do you know sometimes men go and find side chicks because wale mabibi wa meowa ni masaitan. Kuna wanaume wako kuandoa ando enya wako wametaka kukua ndani. Na u bibi ndo wako ya saitan, what did you do? No, sometimes it's you not make, even about the man. Because you are man. the one who make your woman who you want to be. No, sometimes if you provoke, the man didn't even do anything. Trust me. They are innocent yeah, men. I know, I know that we have bad men. That mm-hmm. one I know. Mm-hmm. And also we have bad bad women. Mm-hmm. But also there are some men who are just in relationships. First of all, I don't want to say that. I don't want to say that. They are not even friends. They are not even friends. They are not even friends. They can't even converse. They are not even friends. 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 Because they sleep together. Joto, joto, ala baridi ya Nairobi. Ha, mtoto mwingine. Now they have two, three kids. They have nothing in common. 
Huya kuna hii tabia, huya kuna hii tabia wapendi so unakatoa hapo mwanaume akatu zile za. Now what does a man like that supposed to do? You can't divorce her because maybe you guys have the kids. But you have different lives. You look for a side chick. No, but you should not stay in a marriage because of children. Do you know it's better to bring <coughs> children as a single mom, I'm a single dad, and you bring up children who are happy and whole than bring up children in a wounded environment and bring up toxic children. Yeah. You know, you bring up children, the environment that they grew up. Because I've, I've seen children, they ask their mom, why did you not divorce dad? Why did you not walk away? Mm. They even tell their parents, I won't forgive you for this. You brought me in a toxic environment. You guys were fighting. So why would you do it for your children? Then they will not appreciate that. What's your take on gender-based violence in relationship, marriage setting? Yeah, it's bad. You know, no, no person needs to go through that. Okay. And if marriage is not working, just walk out. Just walk out. What of the men who are being abused by women? or being manipulated. They need to speak about it and they need to walk out of that relationship. You know what I've noticed about uh, marriage and relationship? There's stigma. People, they don't focus on themselves, like my happiness. People focus with what will the society say? What will my friends say? Unona? And that's what is making people to be very depressed because it's about them, it's not about you. So people need to focus on themselves. No matter the shame, no matter how dirty it is, yeah. focus on yourself. And at the end of the day, if you focus on yourself, people will respect your decision. Okay. But if you don't focus on yourself, And what of people who now have children, children mm -hmm. are involved, mm -hmm. and you find, for example, let's start with deadbeat dads. Mm -hmm. What's your take on deadbeat dads? Hmm. There, you know, you can never force somebody to be a dad. Okay. He's not going to be involved with a, with a child. You need to accept. Okay. Because when the child support, that person will make you to be very toxic. You will never heal. Because the moment you're caught, you're bitter, he's using bad words on you. So if he refused to take care of the child, accept it. You know? Work hard. Take care of your child. Okay. Watoto will grow. And the children will make you proud. And what's your take on bitter baby mamas? Because I know also mm -hmm. there's other men who really want to be in their children's lives, but mm -hmm. their baby mamas normally like, Kama huko na mimi, I'll not allow you to see the child. We tumaka tu pesa uto na mtoto. And some mato kuchukwa mtoto. Oh, unachukwa mtoto na upeleko wa mama laya wako. Like there's mm -hmm. too many bitterness. Akana mtoto na mbea mtoto vitumba kusu babake. Mm -hmm. Oh, babaka kujanko kuona mbaoka likutupa. And she knows very well. She's trying to hold mm -hmm. the man by leverage on and a blackmail on Toto. Mm -hmm. Even what they're in relationship, they want to leave. Mm -hmm. Mama and Azile, oh, una taku toka na mtoto ate seke. Ni, 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 bas toka ni. What's your take on those type of women? Yeah, that is wrong because at the end of the day, you're hurting your child. Unona, if a man wants to be involved with a child, allow him to be involved. Because this person was your husband, but, he, but he's the father of this child. You see, those are two different things. And number one, divorce is messy. So the moment <coughs> you'll be bitter, most people, they use their children as revenge, but people need to stop that because people are hurting their children. We are in a generation that we are bringing very wounded children. Unona, by the age of 13, ananza kutumia drugs. Mtutuako depressed, wo ujui, kuzu fokazi yako yuko kwa bibidadi. But you know the moment you start unanza kutukana baba mtoto, this thing they get into these kids and it really affects them. Yeah. So just people need to heal. Na mtu wana accept umeachana. Na unala mtu wakwe kwa life ya mtoto. And again, kuna wana umuwezi kubali wakwe na watoto wako. The same thing as women. They are men, they are alcoholic. So kuna ile environment, hatu uneza sema, hey, yapana. Mtoto wangu atenda kwa hiyo nyumba. Kuzi hiyo nyumba it's a parent place. No, no. Yeah. The same thing with men. They'll be like, hey, my baby mama, she's always drinking. I have to take custody of my child because yeah. I don't want my child to grow in that environment. But, uneza kujanga unona mtoto kwa nyumba, uneza kuletianga mtoto in this place, ina kwa it's a healthy co-parenting. Okay. Yeah. And for a relationship to work, do you think parents of either parties have a hand in it? For example, your parents, mm -hmm. your guys' parents, do you think they have a hand in making a marriage or a relationship successful or making it fail? Yeah, we have toxic parents. 
okay. you know and not everything like small fights you have to keep on telling your parents because you see kuna zile fights minor no, 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 no. So the yeah. moment these small fights you keep on telling your parents, you see your parents will view your spouse in a different way. True, but my mom or my dad will not take my spouse the same. You know? True. Yeah. So see, my mother to kwa na kimbia tu kuzukuzu mama. No. Amefanya, amefanya, amefanya. Eh. And then kuna kuta kuna mama usomea bwana za wasichana zao. That is wrong. Mama amekuweka chini kwa kikao. Mm, mama amekuweka chini na anasomea you are your past. Eh, like kuna fa kwa na boundaries. Eh, so kuna fa kwa na boundaries. Okay. Yeah. And what of the parents moving into the house? For example, mm-hmm. you marry someone then their mother moves into your house. It depends. There are parents who will like like me my grandmother moved in with me. She came to help me cuz none of me my children were mefuatana cast theirs. My passport is that 12 10. So that nini was very tough. It was hard. It was not easy. Okay. House girl wako anaka. So my grandmother moved in to help me. Cuz my mother-in-law like hangeza ku come cuz she was working. But it was very smooth. Number one, what I, um, I noticed my, with my grandmother, she was respectful. Like Nilo and Anajua, you know their parents who they are not respectful. Yeah. Unakuta, like I understand that the daughter is married. So unakuta, most of the time, my shoshua takiona, my ex-husband amekuja chini, if my shoshua is in the sitting room, to ametoka, amenda kwa balcony, amenda kwa bedroom, ametoka inje. Like there was that respect. And it was a very healthy environment. Sime kachini na mamu na watch game ya manu. Eh no no no. Manapenda sana huyo. Anapenda vile anafunga mabao. No. Anapunguza volume. Na uko kwako. Eh so respect is the key not to your boundaries. Yeah. Mm. All right, she's beautiful, smart, wise and intelligent. Watching from Katao Bina doing a good job. Good uh, Sunday sana. Uh, fight Zandoa sio za kushare. <laughs> wow. Okay, that <laughs> next time I'm going to be ni very interesting but I'll not read it here. Okay, very sober lady and smart. Mama Pendo from Mwea ni fan wako, very bad and as I feel poor sana ukimsalimia. Oh, hi Mama Pendo. Mm. Guys asking if before you go back you're going to do a meet and greet. Eh, yeah, what am I uliza? Yeah. I'll see. Are you doing a meet and greet kuja kusalimie? Mm. Eh. Yeah. We'll plan. Okay. And Kuria, I really love this woman. Uh, just as Coril, lots of love from Darwin, City, Australia. Take a meweza. Take a meweza. There's a misconception that that DV DV is only affecting women. Men are being clobbered here by this gender. I think maybe you wanted to say GBV. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that's what we just spoke about, yeah. gender-based violence. It goes either way. There are mm-hmm. men who are in, Exactly. Uh, I know a lot of men who are in a lot of abusive relationships, mm-hmm. and they can't live because of fear of society. The stigma. Stigma, children, nini, blackmail. There's a lot of situations. Kuna leo na wasaidia wanatoka, wanarudi huko, huko tena. It's too much. Kuna tuamezoya tuku kwa in a toxic relationship. Yeah, there are also people who are like that. <laughs> when they are not in a toxic relationship, and I feel, eh, <laughs> yeah, there are people yeah. also like that, by the way. Mm-hmm. And it's like a condition. Mm-hmm. Yes. Gloria Yavan, true inspiration. Uh, Danson Murimi Obina, akona mtu kweli. <laughs> Broji tete, usiache man. <laughs> Unazajipata US next year. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Val Nzioka, wow, she's sober upstairs. <laughs> And to mwa salimia mama boys umesalimiwa na anto. Umesalimika. Mm. Uyu akwetu mumama wangu I'm not that young. <laughs> Bramwell Amimo. Kuongea na Bramwell lazima ukue mama wake. He's not that young. Mm. Ako 27. Siko soko. Okay. So my you know what's better than Siko one available. man. Siko available. You know what's better than one man? Two men. Okay, one man and a boy. Ni unataka niacho na Okay, two and a half men. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, lots of love from the UK. That is uh, Ibrahim Adan. Mm. Uh, yeah, so thanks for always enlightening us. She's beautiful. I love her lips. 
<laughs> okay, leo compensation iko na mafisi. Wale watu wako na masoba na maswali zile zinasaidia. Mm. Eh? Mama Zwilinge, Mungu anakutumia bibi mpaka kwa mlango na we umejikaza ati yo will you remarry? <laughs> What? Si ulize will you marry me Jameni <laughs> ifuo obi na <laughs> ifuo kwa kijalo ni kusema ni mjinga ebu kujo ni ni leta pete eh pete ndio hii nail down you see ah! you have to, don't you know how to propose kwa ni mtu upewa hivi ati pete ndio hii si unasema ni leta si ndio hii no you propose unaambia po propose you kneel down eh uh-huh. how do you do it I've never done it before. <laughs> it's new territory. Eh? But you watch movies. Yeah, but it's only fake. Uh-uh. I have to feel loved. So I kneel down eh? Uh, no, 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 I don't have to. I don't tell men what to do. Oh. Mm. But utalia. No, you, you shouldn't focus on me. When I'm proposing you You just need to do the right thing. But in a fire, oh my gosh. Faint. Ah, ku faint tena. Ngai umekata pete. Wana jua hoja nini na mjaluo magoti do you know how much this is is do you know the sue that <laughs> <laughs> but i'm beautiful i'm a good woman so you do the necessary so the jeans how much is the jeans let's not get into ya mjaluo let's not get into issues <laughs> that are not important in this situation <laughs> yeah yeah She's okay she knows what to do in life and relationship God bless her Samuel Nyamota the maturity of this woman is another level Grace Njoroge love you mama from Dubai Michelle Kanini uh, Nimo aliweza aje kuchukua Eddie wa Samido and why we've already spoken about that just after we're done with the interview rewind you'll check that part uh, Perina Wanjiru how did she manage racism kwa toy wake after she moved to America why been a racist situation Actually I've never noticed it's just one like a month ago mm. Nico to make a video then one of the fans akaniambia aka niulize junior then junior and cause oh junior have you ever received any racism junior akaniambia yeah in the bus sijui there's a child else my he's too black <laughs> Junior is too black have they met me <laughs> <laughs> Junior say kuna rangi yako Yeah but I'll say my is too black Ataliambia kambia go back to Africa you monkey mm. but it didn't affect him because you see he didn't tell me Uh, and Junior, when something affects him, he always come and tells me. So when we are talking that in the house, the kids are like, you know, black is beautiful. Black is beautiful. So yeah. I think they're fine with that, yeah, and okay. they believe in themselves. Yeah, okay. And they love their skin. That's true. You may check. Hey, God, oh, and the Obina US to a loading. <laughs> <laughs> From your mouth mm. to God's ears. Eh, I know. <laughs> Innocent, you know. Eh, hey, hey, you know me amua. <laughs> <laughs> Where? Okay. Hati very bright lady, do you have a YouTube channel? You have a YouTube channel? Yeah. Eh. Ni toa? Eto ni Bani Saroni. Bani Saroni. Bani Saroni. Okay. Obina this year's top guest Dr. Fwene KMC JC Mama Boys Njugush Sober minds with good motivational stories okay uh mwambie eh mwambie basi nimesema ni kwedete Omosh Bosco Omondi bwad Omondi amekupenda oh yes ask about couples that share their relationships online does that add uh, to their problems uh, to the ex- to the extent they end up leaving each other that's nima one boy what what's your take by the of uh, public relationship no actually that is very wrong especially if there are kids involved because whatever has been put there on social media it's there permanently no kupendana Kup- like public kupendana. relationship eh? no if we are in love why not of course lazima tu post picture what were you you have to mark ba- nini territory ah unajua sasa sangine data wifi ni ah ah me yeah. mine i have to mark territory Mm. So, but see me me post. post. Yeah. yeah, yeah, post. Ah. You know, you know the relationship is serious when the man post. Ah, wait, what? Bwana. Bwana ume tuko busy, bwana. Tuko busy, ndio? Tuko busy. Wewe post no. tu. Si wewe umejua niko na wewe. No, no, no. If a man loves, he yeah. crowns his woman and he will be proud of his woman. 
Lakini okay. kama mwanaume ako ofisi ofisi hata ikupost hata kuchezea tu. Ah ah. Yeah, and that's why you find a man will date you for five years and he will get a woman three months, six months ame muoa. Kwa nini unataka kudetiwa for how long? No, I'm just saying a man knows what he always wants. But you see sometimes women mm. ndo unapata ngas sisi ndo tuna force ku post vitu relationship and a man doesn't post. Okay. Yeah, so you when you look at that relationship. Okay. Life guru, obi na ukiacha saroni aende usitusumbue tena. <laughs> <laughs> Ukae single in peace, tutakusaidia hadi lini. <laughs> Sasa, mimi ni mayo ambia munisaidie. Mimi ni ambia munichangie nunue Range Rover. Like that's the only. <laughs> Mukisha ni Range Rover, I will handle myself. Ndajipata mm. kilimani. <laughs> Okay proud of her keep going most love brand murungi she needs uh, that is i hope to win a green card <laughs> ask her if she can host me <laughs> kelly the dj amaze makijipata america utambia mali pa kulala yeah ndamtafutia mali okay utamtafutia mtampea no ndamtafutia my house is full okay <laughs> eh anko yake anaimba mugivi anko yake anaimba mugivi Anko yako anaimba mugivi? Mugivi. Hata yajui anko yake ni mgani. Mm. Maswali watu wanaeleza hapa kwa location. The Diambi the, the Okuo, my all time favorite woman. Thank you mama for what you did uh, for Bani. So every woman needs a Bani's haki. Huh? There's another Bani. I want to Edith. I think it's Edith. Oh, thanks for taking care of Ide. Um <laughs> Ibrahim amerudi obina si useme this show is restricted wazaya afai ku watch <laughs> naona tuko sana na mzaidi huyu ni wangu Aya <laughs> 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 baba Ibrahim <laughs> the movie you're about to watch is rated 22 <laughs> Guys above this should be sleeping okay obina you just need how much i surely ask her if she wants another boys it was that and yeah we discuss about more children she wants eight children so Rewind in the interview uta watch and niki come next and ilete viatu za junior ni pemto iwangu okay come next so yeah at is being single is good check if you are happy alisema yuko single how does she get her boys from the extreme freedom in us especially lgbtq wow that's an interesting question yeah finally what wameanza kumbuka na maswali so we have talked about it with my children yeah yeah it's there in school ah Mhm. Even children change in gender. They are there. They are teachers. They are gay. Good morning class. Mhm. So Call they, me Mr. <laughs> <laughs> so they see it all the time. So it was for me that before I talked with my kids I'm the one who was scared to talk about it. But the moment I asked that question, oh my goodness. The floodgates. Hey, they were informed like we saw the other one walikuwa ananifundisha. Yeah, mbapo anambia mommy this this child in my class are bisexual yes they are changing eh. yeah and then now that's when i ask them tough question what do you think about yourself they say mommy i'm straight uh, yeah you have to these kids how exactly. old are your children but let me tell you baka says mtoto wa actually from the age of 12 teenagehood that's when they start discovering themselves Apo ndo unapata most kids they want to change themselves. You know it's just cuz parents they're so scared to talk about these things with their children. Yeah. But this ki- this the children they know about it. Okay. You know? It's not easy, it's scary for every parent, but these kids they informed more than us. We, msema maju. We? Niliuliza hata Junior, Junior do you know about Yes, Junior nakwambia yes. Junior, Junior, Junior. That, it's even in cartoon. You, so you have to see what your children are watching. Yeah. You know? Eh? Kama sasa unaenda kwa restaurant you find two men sitting together. Na wako na mtoto. Mtoto amekuja na baba. It's crazy. <laughs> so me actually I'm the one who moon kiona I'm like oh my goodness I cannot stay in this restaurant. Then my kids are like mommy. Chill, bro. This is the generation Chill, we are yeah, like yeah, mommy yeah. come mpaka na jana nikomza like mommy come down. It is what it is. Mm. And they tell you mommy in school we see this all the time. Okay. So no watu wako friends na watoto wao you talk about it. Yeah. Cuz this thing it's in high school. Yeah. Wangu aliniambia he straight cuz his his crush is on girls. <laughs> <laughs> That's the ambio kuom. 
Obina you show your crush with them. Omondi. Ki wajalu wengine. Omana. Tu simiane. Omondi akonde. Ndio mama mano. Aya. Uh, there's someone here who asked, uh, what is her view on masturbation? That's daily news television. Hey, guys, there are some questions if you ask. You don't ask with your employment page. Uno <laughs> nisa <laughs> uh, What's your view on Kunyonga? I once interviewed, uh, no, to partake one of your views, first of so all. So my view, that thing, um, the way I see with men talking about it, the men who are used to that, they are fighting to get out of masturbation. Mm -hmm. You know, you find people who say they are very addicted to masturbation. Especially the period that they were single, they were doing they were doing the masturbation. Then when they get into a relationship, you know, it's something that they are fighting to okay. overcome. So if it's something that you can avoid, just avoid. Okay. Yeah. Because Nikitu ina sumbwa watu kutoka hapo sana. I had an interview with uh, Mami Francie. You know Mami Francie? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're talking about long distance relationship. First mm -hmm. of all, can you be in a long distance relationship? Yeah, why not? Okay. So she said that long distance relationship only works in two conditions. Mm -hmm. There's communication and masturbation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but you see that one is different. Kuna hii masturbation unapata mtu kuna hii like masturbation like muko kwa relationship. You know that's a, that's no that's nini. That's, that's a disease. Yeah. But sasa kuna hiyo masturbation yeah, you guys are in a relationship, you guys are having fun, you guys are doing video calls. Oh. But now there's this so nokta mtu mpaka akiwa kazini hata yuko kwa relationship ama in the bathroom. Yes. Masturbation is that crazy. Goja. You just say, <laughs> kuna masturbation poor. Yes, kuna ile masturbation. It's normal. Like, I'm in a long distance relationship. <laughs> you guys are affected. <laughs> the men are so interested all of a sudden. Yes, like maybe my man has traveled. We're doing video calls. Yes, those, those are Ananyonga uko, ananyonga uko. No. <laughs> okay, this is interesting. No, but you guys are looking at like, like it's a taboo. It's things that people do when they're in a relationship. Yeah. We love to go, but those are the things that people do when they're in a relationship. Nanyonga from a distance. From a distance. From a distance. <laughs> he is nyongaring the monkey. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, oh, this, this is what I would say, though. Uh -huh. Masturbation is a situation mm -hmm. that if you are into, you have to find a way out. It's not a good exactly. thing. Exactly. It makes you feel very dirty after, mm -hmm. makes you feel very insecure, mm -hmm. makes you feel very inadequate. Even mm -hmm. when you're with a woman, you feel like, Ay, bado. after after being with a woman, you feel like, bado, I, I have need to, to go to the bathroom. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a psychological situation. So anybody yeah. who's watching this and you're going through a masturbation phase, I did an interview with Burale. Check it out. Obina Show Live. Robert Burale, he spoke about masturbation at length because he was once a victim. Yeah, he said he was a young girl. He was a young girl. He was a young girl. He was a style. Are you serious? Yeah. He was a young girl. He was a young girl. He was a PhD. So, he was a young girl. He was a young girl. He was a young girl. So, Check out the episode I did with uh, Robert Burale. You learn a lot how you can get off. Uh, mm. Not get off. Okay, sounds. <laughs> 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 how you can stop. <laughs> That's the right word. How you can stop masturbation. So mm. we are not professionals, but I'm just telling you it's not a very good situation to be in. I know it's tough. Because Pia Sangye, Madame Pia Pena Kunyima, Tunatuma Fea Nakula, Nini Nino Jambia, Ah. Si mimi niko na niko na data kidogo kuna jipata huko online huko Ni mimi na fanya excuse my video was like you thought i was feeling you yeah when she go down like ice spice <laughs> yeah so watch that episode with uh, Robert Burale you'll be able to understand more on how you can stop masturbation I personally i would not recommend it at a distance tumekuona <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, hi everyone and beautiful Saroni. Ati ata madem wana nyonga mba David ngep. Bro si juu imaze si jai kwa dem. Madem unyonga? I don't know. I've never done it. Oh. Ti wewe tu no matoku advocate. No. It's fine. Ati na itaguza wengi. Yeah. 
Ati aya the shepherd dogs kwanza mtu anaitwa badogi anasema umtafutie mtu because umesema utaki benten na yako tayari Kuna mama umejua huko America mm. <laughs> wanataka hey. mm. Obina if she gave you a chance would you date her <laughs> Afai yo <laughs> Where? Very sensitive uh, but very important top- topic kwanza i generation ya indo me <laughs> yeah so we also need to that one hmm? ah, ah. guys serious questions serious questions minda kupatia okay so read about 10 10 <laughs> sai venye wanaandika tu <laughs> so you just read unajua mimi ndasema watu wanasema bina anasomea vitu zake so ile tu na blink soma tu vile iko soma tu like 10 <laughs> soma vile iko usi usiwache <laughs> we eh <Uh-huh>. unakungoja <laughs> soma <laughs> no you read So as tena gaf hapo anasema ai zinatoka sasa there are so many hebu tuchukue ai umeona hata hapa gal tunaishi na kunyonga nanzi karioki usena gaf anateseka sana nanzi karioka amesema gal ni kunoma eh yunis wajiru pia amesema kwanza sisi wenye tuko golf kunyonga nayo ah ah hey wana sasa hapa wasitanda <laughs> It's yeah. noisy. Ask her if she ever considers relocating to Kenya. If yes, when? That is Dorothy Tonui. Yeah, I love Kenya. So mm. I'll be relocating once my kids go to college. Oh. But not now. Okay. Mm. Ask her how she manages to balance as being a single mother and her daily responsibilities. We spoke about that one. So later you'll just rewatch the interview is already there. That part will answer now. My ex used to do that thing ara tukiwa kwa bed. Ah. Uh-uh. <laughs> Kwani who are you guys dating? <laughs> Na kwanza huyu ni Bosco. Eh hey, Bosco umepitia. <laughs> But bro, kama huyu dem alikuwa ananyonga na uko kwa bed na ye. Bosco akona anyway. problem. Hmm? Akona mchezo. Akona shida. But kama dem yako Okay. It's fine. Okay, ukipata mtu wako ananyonga na uko hapo kanaki what are you supposed to do? Ai, he has a problem. Ndamtafuti. <laughs> na mbeleka hosi. But that's a, a disease. Why would he do that? Si nini mengurumishu hapa na uko hapa. Si no. unarukia nini? No, why would he do that? No, and your girlfriend? Even that there's the, there's a problem in that relationship. So you need to know where the problem is coming from. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Hi Obina this is my first time just say hi to you guys. Hey, hi Sarah. Uh, thank you for watching. True definition of a woman. Okay, Lee Shira uh, giving you your flowers. Thank you. Uh, David Kageta anasema <laughs> What's your relationship with Zuga Jambi? <laughs> <laughs> Zuna na supply is my So is my friend. Eh. Mm. Ana kwanga late. She's late. She's on point. She's on point. Very beautiful woman. Me, you know, I keep following <coughs> Sue, then I'm one follow ten. Why? Kuna time anafanya kitu poa na mfollow hivi. Then kidogo na rudi hivi online. Mm. Unapata amepost hapo kitu. Sasa hii unafanya nini? <laughs> Amebeba hivi. Niko yo! Yo! But Sue is doing her. I ako business. Ako Lakini business. sometimes. Hey. No, me love her courage and her confidence. <laughs> na uza haga. <laughs> But you see the husband supports her in her business. Huh. Yes. I don't know that's not my story it's a story. Sidio coming here from Africa. Ai, baby Shuali. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ati. Gulf madem wamekuwa lesbians hakuna kunyonga wacheni kutuchocha hapa. Babu Kanja ya madem wa Gulf umeambiwa hapo uh, to definition of a woman that one have nini obina chance kuja once I'm reminding you this one for the last time. <laughs> Eh ask to clarify some idos relationship kuna ka kitu tulishat ongea about it watch the interview again hiyo iko hapo ndani tayari obina say hi to me today kamene hey kamene how are you uh sisi watu wa golf 
Surely, guys, tusha toka huko. Tumetoka huko. <laughs> we are moving on. We are actually wrapping up now. So I'm, I, I want to take 10 last questions. Important questions. Okay. Uh, 10 last important questions. And then uh, we can call it a night. Because we've been on for how long? Uh, yeah, CK? One hour 35 minutes. One hour 35 minutes. Wow. Tumeongea. Na mina fikirano tumeanza tu saizi. So guys, questions. Questions zile za mwisho. Uh, and as a dub, a dub mtoto wa mweka 25. Guys, come on, man. Really? Uh, Obi na thumbs up. My boys are wishing Nairobi ladies. Uh, wange? Oh. Like if you had, you had to speak Nairobi ladies wange kwa na sober minds kama yako. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ask if she could give Obi another child. <laughs> Guys, serious. let me make it very clear. Mm. I don't want any more children now. Are you okay. single? Mimi, <laughs> nilichapwa character development, mm. but Nisa, we are not here to talk about ourselves. Wow. Oh, una, I'm not a single. <laughs> no, <laughs> ask me again. I didn't see it. Guys, sorry, man. Ni mangusha bogi. Poleni. Sorry, man. Jemo, sorry, bro. I didn't see it. Ask me again. Are you single? Very. <laughs> yeah, very. Ujapata mtu bado? Why? Napata watu bana kina niramba. Mm -hmm. So normally when you get someone, the problem that I, I, I have, mm -hmm. normally when I get people, mm -hmm. we have very different understanding of different things. For example, mm -hmm. you meet someone, they are mm -hmm. sweet and everything, mm -hmm. their personality, mm -hmm. and then apata labda pendi watoto. Mm -hmm. say yote na ime choma. Ama mm -hmm. you meet someone, anakunywa too much, mgini mm -hmm. anavuta bangi, mgini amechora matatu kila mali. But I saw you have a tattoo. Yeah, I'm a man. No, 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 no. You see, that's the problem with men. So you, you have a tattoo. I saw you have a tattoo here on yes. your Instagram. Yes. On your Instagram. Hey. <laughs> so you've been checking the brother out. <laughs> no, of course I have to check the person that I'm coming. I'm going for an interview with. So you've got a tattoo, but you've got another yeah, so I, I saw that. So, no, I don't want to say. Already, no, no, I already saw. Just your, this one. No, 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 I already saw on your page. Just for the sake of the show. No, I already okay. saw there on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, they knew you have a tattoo, but you don't agree your woman to have a tattoo. No, 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 no. I was just Why? saying that as a by the Okay. Name. I was just saying, I don't mind you having a tattoo. You know, depending on my chora wapi. Ata kila mali. Si uko nayo. Hey, si chora kila mali. Ah. Kuna ngino na choranga ni hapa kwa thai. But kama ndio inamfurahisha. But mwenye alikuwa na ichora. What, what does the tattoo has to do with the relationship? Is mwenye alikuwa na ichora? That was your, that was the past you huko hapo. So wewe ulikuwa kwa relationship ngine. Ngina kuna tattoo hapo kwa nini? <laughs> but you hapa should kwa... not dwell with the past at nani alichora. Wewe ulichora na nani? Professional guy. Hata alichora na professional guy. Mbona unatetea hivi? Kwani uko na tattoo hapa? No, you know that women are so mapema. limited. You find like if a woman that anaenda kuolewa the women are very limited. Like men judge women so much. Okay, what do you think of Madame Ameto? Ameto bakila mali. If it makes them feel good, that's. Limi mapua macho maskio kitovu mbaka huko kwa. It's not. Yeah, unendanga huko ibu na patana na chuma. As long as a woman is responsible, na yuko kitovu inamfraisha. There's nothing wrong with that. Kuto sawa. Yes, it kuto sawa. Me ran vinya na ugopa pain inge kwa na apa. It's just that I'm scared of pain. Because mm. life is about you, it's not about others. <coughs> if a man is coming to marry you, after you okay. conditions, kama menipenda, tabia zangu zikopua, nime peers, what's wrong with that? But true, true, uh, I agree with you, Kidogo. Mm -hmm. I know we have other people who have tattoos and piercings and yeah. they have beautiful personalities. Exactly. When people I'm don't tabia. have them, they go to church and they have very oh, weird exactly. personalities. However, for me, when a lady has too many tattoos and too many piercings, in anishtuanga, because let's say, she's for the streets. Sapia, maybe we una shtuanga mademo apo aivyo. Yeah. You see. Things. That's why I'm married. <laughs> that's why we make our heart broken, son. Ah. See what I'm saying, ma? Let's move on. He he interview another quite personal. Obina, si unona na juu amali kote kwenye ukona tattoo. It's on your on your Instagram. <laughs> Apana ubina semu kweli shida yako wewe ni fisi. <laughs> <laughs> Mama boys karada. <laughs> hey, ni meka. Ubina have one son. Can you marry me? I'm responsible. Oh, ataka umuwe. Kona kijana mmoja. So will you date a woman with kids? 
Yes. Mm -hmm. Because I find women with kids responsible, then I do appear sharp in character development. Some. Yeah. I sharp you appear character development. Say I don't take a cutulia. Okay, but the man I'm toto. But I'm not curious. I'm so cozy, chafu. Most of the time, when you find someone who already has kids, I'm a pity. I like probably na baby daddy or baby daddies. Baka kwa ba kiku pata na kuzile hey hey na wache sayi ni tulie kidogo. Then also they are patient mm -hmm. because mimi yenye mimi uta kona mimi pia lazima kwe very patient. Mimi mm -hmm. na kuanga so any full time job. Mimi mo kidogo sa ina li. <laughs> mimi na jipata kwa makosa singi. <laughs> That's you. So you are a full time. I'm a full time job. job. Eh, hey, so akiwa na mtoto ni mtu mwenye tarehe kuna patience because ku change diapers mimi baka mtoto anze kugro ni mtu kuna patience. But not all women are patient. Yeah, but most. Even si with their kids. Too. Si yeah. unakana hivi ukikana hivi mwenye hivi lunch mm. unanoto mwenye nonglesha waiter unasema mm. hapa. Mm. Yeah, so I wouldn't mind. Mm -hmm. yeah, then also, if you get someone with a child, when they find my children, mm -hmm. it'll be easier to manage. Mm -hmm. But if you, if you find someone without a child, mm -hmm. it's complicated. And then pia atataka kuzam toto wake, then ni anze kukua segregation, anze compete. It's mm -hmm. too much hassle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Obina ni mechoka kutaip. Mulize how she managed to relocate to USA <laughs> to find the job there. <laughs> Anne Ndunge. Why are you typing? She's just copy paste. Anne, I kill him to Angu. But <laughs> the relocation part, we already spoke about it, Anne. You'll just rewatch the whole interview. It could happen, Anne. Yes. Uh, Obi, Obi Naimali, the best kuliko ambare I consider. <laughs> Guys, serious questions. We're wrapping up. Five more last questions. Hii ukiwachilia obina walai we nyonga sasa milele. What? This is serious. Obina, it's like your kids walijua mama boys anakuja ndi waka kwambia you marry. Maybe God is showing you something. Open your eyes. Obina. Obina. <laughs> ah, yeah. Serious question, Yoi. Does she invest in Kenya? <laughs> yes, I do invest. Hey. Mm. invest wapi uko? That's my private life. Squeevo. No, I'm not here to to to, to brag what mm. I have. That's my private life. Mm. But I have invested. You emphasize on importance of self-love and growth in women. We forget ourselves in our dreams and focus on others. Later, Tunalia started from the bottom, Kinaturamba. Yeah, that's true. Mm. <laughs> oh, you are flirting with Mama K boys. <laughs> What's a profession? Watch the interview, it is there. Uh, to make sure get your story. Uh, okay. We are proud of her. Uliza Edith at Arudi Kenya Lini. That's her story. Okay. She'll surprise them. Mm, your her opinion on how Kenya is since since she left here. Yeah, that's at least something. Since you left last, when were you here last? I was here last year. Ah, juicy too. Mm -hmm. But now since you left for when you relocated, mm -hmm. and now. I can't tell much about it because since 2018, yeah. November, I've just been coming to visit two weeks, okay. one month. So I can't really tell. Okay. Yeah. Uchumi. <laughs> but what to call uchumi? Yeah, uchumi ona ni kwaje. Wei na kwa effect ama wewe kidogo. Yeah, it's me ni effect. Wei kwa effect. Wei kwa sawa. Aguna jadi danga ni me ni kopo. I'm thankful to God. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Obina ni jibu basi. Should I put you as my prayer item this week? <laughs> yeah. Cameraman on chest zooming. Jemo. Oga tuko na Lola hapa anasema usikuje huko bila mama boy. Wewe? Wewe? Obina, comment section itamu kuliko hiyo video. Obina ask her this question, what advice can she give a young single mom like me currently working in Gulf but sometimes I feel like giving up? Jen Kemuto, yeah, that's a beautiful one. No, she should not give up. She needs to, you know, her kids have to keep up going. Okay. No, no, she needs to work hard for the children. The children will make her proud. Akikuwa huko, akifanya kazi, akena melipa school fees. Na invest na watutu wake. You see, most problem I've seen with us, Tenawa Gulf, actually they are my friends. 
I love yeah. those girls so much. Sometimes you join me because sometimes people we look for love so much. And what I always tell them, I can come back TikTok yango, stop buying love. Okay. You see? Stop buying love, don't be desperate for love. Love will find you. And true love will find you when the least you expect it. Focus on yourself, build yourself, focus on your child. No, no. Because yeah. unapata wengine napenda na kwa social media, dema natuma pesa, na invest ya chali. Na hata jiyo na uchali. Dema kikujuku inamramba. Unakuta okay. chali alikuwa na bibi, wezi na uchali, the guy is not available for you. So unarudi wapi? Square zero. Okay. So they just need to love themselves, focus on themselves, self-love. Na self-love si kutengeneza kucha, sijui nini, is taking care of your mental health. Okay. Unona? Yeah. Self love ni masnacks na masai. Eh, <laughs> no, that's not self love. If you do not take care of your inner you, yeah. you are empty. Well, you are getting too deep. Obi na tela ni kona BNB's rooms in Diani and Nyali and letewa teja. Hini ya season ya tourism. Okay. Um, after a woman gives birth and her partner starts neglecting her due to the changes of her body, how should she manage the situation? First of all, that's a wrong spouse because a man should not neglect you because of your body changing. Because the moment you have gotten into marriage, you have gotten pregnant, a man needs to know your body is going to change. Okay. The moment you give birth, you're breastfeeding, you start adding weight. You're not going to look the same. Mm -hmm. And a man who truly loves you, he will not like start distancing you because of your body changing. Yeah. Things do happen. You can even get sick, get a stroke. You're not true, the same anymore. True, true. So... You need to walk, the men need to walk with their women through that phase. They mama lize ku breastfeed after the one year, start taking her to the gym. You walk the, you need the journey together. Okay. Yeah. Obi, I propose you for the next interview. I have a question for you. Hmm. You can just <laughs> ask now. I'll answer you. Just <laughs> write the question there. Uh, Rio, hizo maswali mamake boys anakuliza. Chukua mamake boys uyo jamana date ni jokes ako nazo. Okay. What? Yeah. Pauline anasema mwambie anipe job. Nime simp sana aki. Pauline I think is the chef. Wala kama sema ni chef. Woi, aki sasa jobs. I wish I, w I had that chance to give them jobs. Yeah. Kuna yo chance. Mulize Benten. We already spoke about that part for Benten. Uh camera mwanzo wa show alikuwa focusing na mugu. Hiyo show inaisha yuko kifua. <laughs> Yeah, and he's going on another <laughs> level. <laughs> At the ex, anakula chips kuku anasema self-love. Kume ni upstairs. <laughs> Kume upstairs ni zero. <laughs> Why <Where laughs> comment section? Eh. eh. <laughs> At the obina kwani ni wewe ulisema kiweta fai kunya Johnny Walker. Akishuwa. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, that's a, I love it. <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> Why did you encourage Ida to break her marriage? Very toxic woman. Psyche. <laughs> yeah. Well, you encourage Ida to break her marriage. So how would they encourage? When Ida doesn't have a brain. Yeah. <laughs> mm, so you didn't have a hand in it. Mm? She decided on her own. Why would I have hand in it? Yeah. You know? Mm. Where? Ah, yeah. So I think he's one of it. Can you be also of someone relocating to the States? Yes, we already spoke about that. She said yes. I'm going to Mahali. Watoto wali semu anataka mzungu banis ni mzungu wa USA. My boys much love from Lowell Mashakushet. That's oh. Catherine Olu. That's my town. That's where I live. Mm. <laughs> In Edward? Low. Low. See Lowell? Low. You mandiqua Lowell Lapa. Low. Buana, you're trying to argue with a Lua Buana. <laughs> it is Lowell. It is written here Lowell. You cannot argue with a professor <laughs> in lingua. This is linguistics. It's Lowell, Massachusetts. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and you are still going live tomorrow. We show it to stress for you. Ah, yeah, no problem. I think now we are done with the important questions. Mm -hmm. So myself, I just want to thank you for coming through. Mm -hmm. And uh, now, since you, you since you are in Kenya now, what's the plan? What's happening? Where? How? When? I'm enjoying life with my family. 
Oh, we come to a holiday. Mm -hmm. my parents. Okay. Get spoiled by my dad. Eh. Mm. Your partner get spoiled with your dad. Of course, I'm daddy's girl. Ah. I'm the princess, the only girl. You're the only girl. Yes. Hmm. Now the only girl in the anyoyo. <laughs> <laughs> now the only Uganda in the anyoyo. Okay. Um, lots of love from UK, Lucy Mwangish. Uh, thank you, Mamake. Shia leo ikopoa tu mependa. Ambia wewe mzungu azidi kuja Kenya. <laughs> well, uh, Aya wewe mzungu zidi kuja Kenya. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, Aya. So ile mwisho hapo chali yako ni black ama ni white? Watajua with time. Watulie. Wat, wat, relax. Watulie. Hey. Okay. Na kama ni white meat ama ni black meat. <laughs> Bina sing for that song of yours. Di bani suja ikula fe handbag. No problemo. I, I think we are done. I use maswali. Sasa watu wana jibaba. They don't want to sleep. So wana liza tu maswali. Guys, thank you so much for the questions and for the interactions. You guys have made my day. I've laughed. It's been an interesting one. Thank you for coming. You're, you're a sweet soul. You're a smiling machine. Mm -hmm. You're beautiful. You're a good mother. Thank Keep you. doing it. Uh, uh, keep being there for the kids. I always see the videos you do. Keep being a free spirit. Mm -hmm. And keep doing the good stuff that you do on social spaces. Because we have a lot of people who watch our uh, content mm -hmm. and our warm up. Yeah, that that's people are going true. through depression, whatever moments. It warms them up. I yeah. might do a video you might not like, he might like. Mm -hmm. He might not like, you might like, and there, so on and so forth. So mm -hmm. keep doing that one as well. Mm -hmm. Keep encouraging single mothers. I know out here by there, all the single mothers who are watching and you have deadbeat dads. I'm very sorry. I apologize on their behalf. Some men don't know better mm -hmm. and some men don't know the happiness and the sweetness that is there when they are present in the lives of their kids. Mm -hmm. Personally, I'm enjoying it. My kids are my besties. I learn a lot from them. They learn a lot from me and I can never ever imagine me not being in their lives. There are some men who are watching this, bro, you don't know what you're missing. I'm not saying it would be easy. Having a baby mama is a very complicated situation. Kwanza ukikuwa na baby mama mjinga. Bro, it's... <laughs> and then pia ukikuwa na baby mama mwerevu sana. Tena bro, it's also another thing. Because she'll know how to manipulate and change everything. Ukikuwa na baby mama mjinga, tu... Ukikuwa na mtoto kipelega, mtoto kwa mama laya wako. It's, it's, bro, it will be. But since you enjoyed, fight the battle, not for the baby mama, for the kids. Mm. For baby mamas who are watching this, you should not be fighting for you. Fight for the child. It is for the best interest of the child. Ati mister ki wane mtoto wangu. Wewe ni mtoto. Uyo mtoto amekwambia ata kuona baba yake. Na unajua we ni mlevi. Uyo mlevi bado ni baba yake. You cannot be the mother and the father. And the same thing to fathers as well. You cannot be the father and the mother. You'll have toxic baby mamas. Allow them to see their children. You love toxic baby daddies, allow them to see their children. When the relationship is done, stop holding the child as ransom. No, it's not going to be easy, but try. You're doing a good job by showing mothers how to relate with their children. Try and create time. You're very busy. You create time with your kids sometimes. And this one also goes to fathers out there and other mothers. Mm -hmm. You're busy. We're trying to make ends meet. Me, I'm right now here. It's in the middle of the night. But tomorrow morning... At uh, 5, I'll be up. I'm taking my kids to school in the morning. We'll bond. We'll have our stories. If we'll shoot a video, I'll post it on their channel or on TikTok or on Instagram. And that's it. Then we vibe that way. So create time. It's not easy. And then also one thing that I always forget to say all the time. For people who have more than one child, every child is different from the other. My dad didn't understand that. My dad really wanted me to be like my elder bro. We are very different. Every child is different. And relationship that you have with child A is not the same relationship you love with child B. Trust me, it will never be the same. So never try to compare. Trust me, they can't. Even if they are twins, there's normally that kind of difference. So try and balance up, try and understand, and try and be present in your children's lives. You'll buy for them all the gifts you can buy from a distance. But children always remember the experiences. They remember, like myself, I remember only two happy moments with my dad. Two. One, we went to Kimwa Grand Hotel. It was in Kisumu. There was some guy who was dancing there, removing like 50 underwears and throwing them. My dad was laughing his head off. And then there was this, Akina Mamakai, the Konyue, Kobo Kobo. That was the first happy moment. I remember the second one. 
tulikuwa na shindana naye kukimbia in my whole childhood and this, we are challenged him we said oh tunaweza kushinda kimbia akatuambia haya twende those are the only happy moments i remember with my mom they are countless so children remember but the sad moments with my dad i remember like a million and one children remember moments they don't remember oh dad a little parent oh dad a little school fees they remember moments so please try as much as you can i'm not preaching to you siku some i'm just sharing what i've experienced and it is very rewarding me if my kids are happy Watu wani kiona hapo wanapiga kelele. Aye, mimi niko sawa. Naweza chill even watch movie. Magale, niko like. Alafu niko kwa bedu msikie kumenyamaza najua kuna noma. Najua kuna mtu kuna mtu anabebeleza mali nyamaza. Yeah. So please, your final words to single mothers and also baby daddies. Kamera yako ndio hii. Yeye nyo alikuwa anazumini kwa nini? So for the kula mtoto. So for the single moms keep on doing you keep on doing the good job that you're doing you know and single parenting is not a disability kids are blessing focus on yourself focus on your children and for the dead bits you know <laughs> it's the kids are growing yeah. you know and one day you're going to regret and there's a time that you will need these children you know when they make it in life so yep that's yeah. it Mbona just angalia ngipati ya kulea watoto kama you will need them mm-hmm. because mimi angalia it's like someone saying I'll be good because I want to go to heaven no, but or I'll be good because I don't want to go to hell mm-hmm. you're like you know you can just be good for being good yeah but you see what I was like you see when for most of the dead bits at ukiangalia okay, watu wamezeka and they're not taking care of their kids yeah. when they age and you see your child has become successful you may not need that child but the guilty in you you will carry it for the rest of your life till you die no no utakuwa unaangalia mtoto na me make it like oh my god and you know you cannot reverse time yeah you know ume mess ume mess yeah you know and there's nothing bad like aging in regret no na saying i wish i did it different i wish ningefanya hivi you know and that's the worst thing that can ever happen to anybody all right yeah Okay, I can see we have people telling me, "Oh, bring Nyako, bring who? Bro, we've done too many lives. Actually, the first live we did Obina Show live was Nyako, that's four months ago. So go back just on Obina live, Obina Show live, you'll see Nyako, we have Nuru Okanga, we have Mtumba Man, we have Gaucho, we have uh, Johnny Bravs, who's a friend of mine who has only fans if you want to learn about that. We have Vaga who was managing Steve Simple Boy, alikuwa anasema kumuibia, we have Branchira how i got hiv positive we have jack he was the manager for ethic why ethic failed we have babo wino he promised delivered uh, we have myself doing celebrity garage sale where i sell my clothes at throwaway price then the money i take to an orphanage we have uh, the taxi lady ule mwenyali tukananga driver nini nini she said she was not crazy we have uh, matthew nyamlori who repeated class 8 9 times We have Naughty Flo talking about love and a heartbreak with uh, the girlfriend. We've had Gilad Milo telling you how you can make money from uh, Kupanda uh, Kitungu Saumu. We have Anjugush, Mans International, when they went international. And then Juakali made a joke about it and became something else. We have uh, Br- uh, Robert Burale, Bad Addiction, speaking about masturbation, clubs, strip clubs and everything. We have Rapudo. Speaking about love wins, uh, we have uh, Peter Kioi speaking about he's not a scammer. Story was alikuwa mbeba pesa ya mtumba man. <laughs> we have DJ Mo, Fame Marriage Salvation. We've had uh, uh, Bonfast Mwangi talking about activism, politics, family. Bonfast Mwangi alikuja akasema kwa nini asimio ile lose. Alisema vile iko. We have someone who was robbing dead people. He's called Wilson. Uh, we also have Calligraph how he became the goat. We've had uh, Uh, this is the one and only Obidan Dela the truth behind bloggers we have that Yoen alifika kwa airport machake ni chongo karibu ashikwe jo alikuwa anaangalia kitu na kataka kusoma i laughed i nearly died one of the funniest interviews i've done we have boss mama Maureen uh, Waitito Maureen Angel Waitito speaking about how she's juggling uh, single parenthood as well and fame We've had uh, Kimbi Kimbi akisema ogopi Ruto. We've had Malisafi why he calls himself TikTok president akafanya mpaka campaigns jua aka win. Benachi came from the states gospel marriage and life in the USA. Ambare she believes in love we sat down with her Eric Komondi the Kenyan system is rotten. We've had Ethan Muziki who just sold out KICC we sat down she said his he said his music drives them crazy. We've had Chipukizi becoming state house MC Chipukizi alinyang'anya pesa alinyang'anya kazi ya state house tuliongea naye hapa we've had uh, 
this is almost one hour Kenyan government prices is finishing us serikali natumaliza we've had uh, kasi pool I'm the next Kenyan uh, luo kingpin we had a former citizen presenter, that's Kimani Mbugwa. We sat down here when he said he needed help. We conversed everything, and now he's doing beautiful. Also, guys support him. We've had cartoon comedian, why she fears men, her story with her mother, her childhood. We've had King Kalala. She attacks both genders. She sat here. We laughed like three hours straight. We've had Tom Daktari, Maisha Tamu Yaki Daktari. Branchira came back again to apologize again. He said, I'm sorry again. He told me, Obina, I want to come. Vivian was here the other week launching her book about fame, parenting, writing, relationship-wise. We had a young man here who just bought 50 acres of land in Uganda. It's called Eve, but I say it Eves. We've had Moji Short Baba with his new EP, highly favored. MC Jesse was here last week speaking about his campaign trail from Imendi to the UK. Today we've had uh, Embarambamba saying people think it's cast and Storyake na Bibi. And now we are hosting Mamake Boys speaking about single parenting, love, work in the USA. So we've had too many lives. So before you say bring somebody, go back and check and then watch them. Those interviews are very educative and they're very entertaining. This one has also been very educative, very morally supporting. <laughs> because my mom and I feel I'm quite represented. I go, yeah. We are being wow. represented. So we've had too many uh, guests on the show, and we're still having many. They're still coming through. And if you have any other person that you want us to bring, let us know. So, Mamake, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> you may check out. Next to Lete Kife. Yeah, I'm interviewing Kibe tomorrow, 10 p.m. in the evening. Tomorrow, 10 p.m. in the evening, Kibe on Obina Show Live. Kife, Mukefe, check it out. <laughs> That one is going to be loading tomorrow. Uh, tell the guest to give us 360 hour. Ah. <laughs> but thank you so much for coming to the show. You're welcome. Yes. Any final, final, final words? Mm -mm, I don't want food. Oh, food. Mm -hmm. What do you want to eat? Samaki. So, yeah, you said fish. Yeah, yeah. We're going to give you a uh, good fish. Omosh, utafanya mambo yako. Mbogi yako atakula nini? See what I'm here. By the can you cook? Eh, yeah, me, I'm a very good chef. Hmm. Mm. What is it? Eh. Mm. Pick it uh -uh. Actually, I think well I to all one my sons what are a problem. Because my kids are used to eating good, good food. food. Ah. What do you think of women who can't cook? It depends with how you are brought up. Yeah, but you can learn. Why are you blaming your parents on a skill that you can learn? <laughs> so, yeah, if she is a woman is, is ready to learn, then they can learn. But you know women are different. Kunalo mm. apendu mm. Yeah, but akuna pesa kulipa house manager, apike. Yeah, if you have worked hard in your Makule life. Mwenyana, yeni house manager, kama una sasa, kupika. sasa apendu yo shida. But mm. kama ukona pesa, so unaandika ata watatu wanapika. What's your take on mwanamuke kufulia mwanaume? Kufua? Kufua nini? Singuo. Hey. So it's like a washing machine. Kama una washing machine. Kama sina na usina fua. Na fulia mtu wako. Mm. Kama tuko chini we don't have yeah. this washing machine. Yeah, those are women duties. So you wash the clothes. What's your take on this thing that sikizi watu wanasema the equality in marriage? Ile tuko equal ile ufai you can't answer to me as a woman. Answer how? So a woman is supposed to be submissive mm -hmm. to the man, yeah. according to my background, the way I'm raised. Even in the Bible, that's yes. how it is. But nowadays, people are saying, eh, hey, for who? To king here, if you can yumba, we catch in, we catch in. Sezi kukupikia, sezi kufanya nini, we jitete. It depends with the situation. You know, that is different. Manamke ku submit, you have to submit to, to your husband. Yeah. Kama wantaka marriage. Mm -hmm. And a man has to love the woman. That's okay. what the Bible says. But now, when it comes, like, especially in the U.S., Apo yeah. mesema, like, mtu wamefika kwa nyumba, mesema apiki. If, kama tunashia kulipa bills, rent ni katikati, yeah. shopping ni katikati, yeah. watoto, outings, clothing, it's katikati. Like, all the bills tunashia katikati. Yeah. Kwa nipi ya kazi ya nyumba, tusishia katikati? Yes. Aya. That's how it is. So, kipindi if I come, I'm tired, mm. you cook. Because tunafanya kazi the same. You understand what I'm saying? Because the way you are working, that's the same way I'm working. We don't have a nanny. Okay. So, wesa zilo koko kwa nyumba. Wesa zilo koko kwa nyumba kwa tunafanya different shift. Watoto natoka shule three, unafakupikia watoto. 
mimi niki nikikuja kwa hao dhuri napata ushapi kafu uliko nafanya nini kwa nini kwa nyumba 6 hours I watch game no game i also need my quality time so we have to share the responsibility okay but now you find hiyo sasa naye wanaume wengi you complain but you see you are the one who, who has allowed your woman for you guys to share the responsibility that one it's a big challenge in the US I think even in the UK cuz who dem anafanya job sana the same way unafanya but now you find the marriage that they are working you find the woman is not working a lot now you find the guy is the one who is working a lot so unapata ka dem anafanya shift ya morning 9 to 3 so dem atakosaje kufanya job ya hao atakosaje kupika kupeleka watoto sports cuz you see the woman is not working a lot so okay. you find now that relationship that marriage is smooth watu wao wanapata quality life watu wao wanaona mama yao okay yeah to be na show extended to be na taki kumaliza show <laughs> maina haman hata wewe ungekuwa mimi <laughs> haya nimemaliza thank you thank you so much good night good night goodbye goodbye eh watu kwetu tukule watu tukule samaki let me buy you fish today okay ngata mina skia natamani samaki sasa all of a sudden yes <laughs> comment like subscribe i'll see you guys tomorrow 10 pm interviewing Kife, mukafe. Stay tuned for that. Good night.